Mic check, one, two, one, two. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, man, swag is all over the place. See, first of all, I said the word swag. Oh, my <laughs> God, Jesus. I ain't pull a DJ. I mean, my little app up, you know what I mean? My soundboard. So I don't really feel like we getting the introduction that I'm used to here. Hold up, but we going to keep all this, though, Pat. Hold up, that's one nigga to hear the difference. That's Move, mad pop-up. I thought the Mac don't get viruses. Yes, don't show this message again. Watching, <laughs> Why do I keep seeing the message? Porn hub. That's what get you're doing. The, the, the fuck out of here, Kim Sola. Mm. <laughs> I don't want any more tokens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. All right, Mike, 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 Mike. Look what some applause does. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's a live studio audience. That's great. I don't give a fuck. We are back after a nice vacation. Was, was, was it, it a vacation? A, uh, no, and it wasn't nice. It wasn't yeah. a vacation. <laughs> and it wasn't nice. It wasn't a, it wasn't either of that. No. Yeah. Anyways, glad to be back. I got to bed earlier last week than I normally do. Yeah. I guess I was really excited about that. Yeah, first Tuesday home uh, at a reasonable hour. Yeah. But good to be back. Good to be back. How is everybody doing? Welcome back. Joe Button Podcast. Damn, man, the numbers. 124. Are we counting the live show as an no. episode? Because we did put it out. No. No. That's a put out 30 minutes of it. Yeah. yeah. That and wasn't was even mad, the, the dope part. <laughs> well, why didn't we put out the dope part of it? No, Chris chopped up all the good parts. It wasn't just like the first 30 minutes. Oh, man. I think, right, somebody, Chris? I didn't even watch the shit. Can somebody call me before we start? Who makes these decisions? <laughs> 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 Nobody called me for this? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, we're, no, it's one, 123, actually. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> all right. Joe Budden uh, Podcast, episode 123. I'm your host, Joe Budden. Across from me is Rory Lanes, and to his left is Maul. My name is Maul, by the way. We are here. <laughs> That's your new <laughs> little joint. Uh, people keep getting my name. I don't know how people get my name wrong. Yeah. You say my Everyone name does all the time. It. I definitely had a dream, <laughs> and I just remember the dream when Maul said that I swear. <laughs> what a weird dream. I definitely had a dream that I walked in to do the podcast one day, and it was y'all here sitting here interviewing Ebro. I guess because we've had that conversation, <laughs> you had strange a dreams. bunch of times. What he dreaming about? Come <laughs> on, <laughs> you be in your sleep hitting the buttons. <laughs> I walked in so confused. I said, "Why would they do this? Why would they interview Ebro without me?" And we yeah. were late. I was angry about it too. You were asleep. Yeah, very fucking funny. Anyway, Are you yeah. like one of them chicks that gets mad? At the people in real life when they had bad dreams about them? No. Chicks do that? You ain't hit that. You've never had a girl have, had a dream about you, like you cheated on her or something, that she wake up mad at you? He dates Spanish women, of course. Yeah, about to say. I've had that happen, I guess. Absolutely. What's more common for me is the girl that you no longer speaking to anymore, the girl that you don't speak to anymore, texting you out the blue or calling you randomly to say, I had a dream about just you trying to fuck just again. to open up the doors <laughs> of communication. Women are so prideful. Yeah. yeah, so I'm so that's more common for me, but I'm sure that's happened. I had a woman that I used to mess with say that she had a dream that she tried to get into my funeral and they wouldn't let her in. Did she say how you got to your funeral? That's well, the first thing I die? asked was like, well, how did I die? And did I go to jail? Right. Oh, maybe she was, maybe she was the killer. <laughs> let's remember this just in case. Let, let's. I don't even remember how we started talking about all this shit. Uh, you had a dream about Maul. And oh, come on, come on. Don't name. remind me about that. What were we getting into? <laughs> oh, we were just introducing this shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, great. Maul, yeah, Maul had a new fucking thing, and that get, got me to my dream with Ebro. Okay, so good. <laughs> now that we are here, happy to be here. I feel like I haven't seen you gentlemen in a long time. Shout out to the YouTube viewership. Shout out to Chris. Hey, Chris. Chris has a new look about him. I don't know if y'all have noticed that. Yeah. Hair's growing in a little bit more. A lot more beard on oh, his no face, hat, a little no roughier, hat. a little yeah. scruffier. He a little more tan, too. The you just went on vacation? The chain is yeah. shining a little more, a little shellac. <laughs> he went and got that motherfucker sprayed. They <laughs> shellac. <took> <laughs> <laughs> they went and took that motherfucker. Your chain is shellac. He went and took that motherfucker to the side and put the little spray on it in the little frying yeah, pan he thing. He hit that with a, with a tooth, toothbrush <laughs> and toothpaste. <laughs> with pan. <laughs> he definitely hit that with toothpaste. Wait, like that. With Pam. <laughs> Yo, if a nigga spray Pam. Yo, I know a chick from Atlanta who used to spray Pam on her breast. No, you don't, Joe, man. On her chicken breast or her real breast? <laughs> no, her breast. Why is she, she doing that? Would she spray it in her hand and then on her titties? Or <laughs> then right. she would just spray her chest? Y'all about to judge me. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> I judged her. I, about to judge. I judged her. Okay, got it. She did it for effect. I guess whatever chicks do that, you know, they 
do to make their breasts shiny or, you know, I don't know what chicks do. I don't know what chicks so do. She so never she never heard of pants. baby oil. That's what I said. But okay. she had a good reason for doing it that way. I looked at her the same way you're looking at me, man. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out why she would do that. Her, that, breast, her breast did look good, though. She had o- cooking oil on But her. you wouldn't know that if she didn't tell you that. No, I, no, I get what you're Hopefully saying. She it she it probably doesn't thing. look crazy, but just Let me tell you something. If we knew the things that women did to look good... I'm sure there's some more little tricks they do. That's on the, like, that one is kind of crazy. <laughs> they though. put Goya on their pussy? You remember Shorty, too. You know her. Where is she from? Atlanta. Big, nice breasts? Yeah. I don't know you talking about. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. It doesn't about. really narrow it down in Atlanta. But. No, but I know who he's talking about. <laughs> right. she and she's smart. It. Yeah, I know. She ain't, no dumb, she ain't no dummy. She had a good reason for putting Pam on the tits, I guess. But I don't know how we got <laughs> to good. talking about that either. <laughs> talking about how... Uh, his funeral. Yeah, come on, yeah. this weirdo shit, man. I thought we you were had a dream a, about Ebro, and I, I'm the weirdo. I thought we were getting a live report from Maul <laughs> about the fucking OVO uh, fest because you know he was there. I was not. I live. didn't know that you would be here today. Live from I the six side. No. I thought that you were in Toronto. I thought you couldn't make it back. Nah, I, I wish I would have went, but nah, I wasn't there. I w- then you wish you wouldn't have been here. You'd have missed another podcast. How? I wish I would have went. You didn't see how fast he sell us out. I flew in this morning. That I could have came, came back this morning. You wouldn't even know if I was going. Nigga, quick to the, yes, six, I do. I, Toronto's not far. Oh, that's not a far please. flight. It's like I'm an hour flight. That's an hour flight. I could. I would have been back in no time. That's a lot, though. No, You're doing a lot. He would have came back with the accident. You that guy. An uh, hour flight in the morning. I get, I get up. My flight is at nine. I'm in New York all, by ten. It's longer than an hour. No, it's not. So yes, it is. Change. It's longer than an hour. That's the wait. That's doing a lot. You don't think as a dude? No. That's like flying in from DC. Wait, when should you or, f- or flown back in? to fly to a? F- well, maybe for OVO Fest you could fly to that. Hell yeah! It's like LA to San Francisco. Because I wouldn't have left. I wouldn't bad. have left the day of. Oh, I would have went the weekend. Like I, I went- wouldn't be trying to land back on the day I got to do anything. I guess that's all. But after a long flight, yeah. But an hour, that's not. That's nothing. Yeah, that ain't really shit. Yeah, people fly to Chicago for work days and come right back to New York. All right, but I know you. I know you was uh, texting somebody. I know you was in your OVO group chat with some information, yeah. some somebody, behind the scenes shit. Somebody definitely Facetimed you. Yeah, backstage. come on, man. <laughs> no, I, somebody Facetimed me. You know, he's somebody. <laughs> Maul is the Facetime no. friend. I love Facetiming. Like, see, because I don't like. I, no, the thing is, I don't like holding my phone to my ear, like, and talking. So we're going to talk. I don't, like, I don't either, but that's why I use the, um, my headphones. Because I don't like putting yeah. that shit next to my ear. Man, yeah. I get surprised when but the I phone don't need... ring. <laughs> well, you're different. You don't answer. I don't want to talk on the phone. Yeah. Don't talk to me. Yeah. I could FaceTime for longer than I can talk on the phone. Because it kind of feels like we're having a... With dudes? Well, whoever. Because yeah. it kind of feels like we're talking like right here. Like I don't know if I want my man to FaceTime, FaceTime me. No dude. I mean, it's what you're doing on FaceTime, what you do. Like, I'm not going to be laying down comfortable... <laughs> Chest out, <laughs> my man. Like yo, I'm saying the Knicks about to trade this thing. I, don't, I don't ain't gonna be. No. I don't think I've ever seen you lay down comfortably. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> now that you say that, <laughs> I lay down comfortably all the time. Anytime I, I lay down, I'm comfortable. But with. I've never seen it. Good. <laughs> I don't want you to see me laying down, nigga. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> why? Why you? I don't want you to see me laying down. Anytime men are around, I'm. I'm. What's up? How you feeling? Anything good? I'm not gonna be vulnerable in case you feel in some type of way. I feel like you could just. But we've lived together. Like, you're right. Cuddling a pillow. As soon as you be like, yo, what you doing? I'm up. Yo, what's popping? You I good? I got a crazy funny story about Maul. Oh, I just thought of it. You lucky. You Why? lucky. I can't, I can't tell it because it's sin. Oh, okay. Oh, it's funny though. We're gonna talk about yeah! it. We're gonna talk about it later. Then. All right, don't so anyway, so you don't have. OVO Fest, none, you don't have no breaking news. All right, fine. Well, so the deal, the deal how do we feel bro- about it? <laughs> the deal you brokered for Tori and Drake to be friends again. <laughs> that finally came to fruition. We're happy for that. We Thank are happy you. for that. Were you the, I hope that the mutual music. friend that did that? No. Talk about I, it. I, would, I, would, I wish I was, but I was not the mutual friend. I don't know Tori like that, so I can't be the mutual friend. Mm. You're not new Toronto? Mm. No, I don't know Tori like that. Joe, I met him a couple Joe times. Joe is new Toronto. Know. Joe might have broke him before me for sure would have broken that. Come on. Tori is your guy. You are reaching right you, now. You and Tori you are, are cool. reaching right Tori now. Tori is your you, guy. You and Drake DM. It could have happened. You and you and Drake have, you know, history of messaging each Mo. other. <laughs> I'm y'all just have, saying, before I don't DM know Tori history. like that. Oh, wait, wait, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Y'all ready for it? I'm ready for it. Pause. I'm supposed to uh I, I think I think I'm supposed to interview somebody soon that will be pretty funny. Mm. Well, your interviews are usually pretty funny, so. Oh no, but. Is there a hint Will to you this be one? sitting right next to them, or they're gonna have to separate y'all? 
Because that, that says a lot. Because by that, I can go off, I can kind of gauge No, they can sit next to me. Okay. They can, they can sit next to me, but this is a good one. This is, this is, this, we can, we can have our OVO talks. I was going to, okay. my guess was going to be party. But this party is something Wait. coming where he would do press? Because oh, he never does, does press does to begin party with. party want to talk to anybody? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a party interview in my life. I just realized I, I've never seen a weekend interview. That too. Like, I don't think he interviews with anybody. That's crazy. So I just you, realized that you last night. Roy Woods? <laughs> but wouldn't that be a good interview? That would be a good I, interview. So, I don't really know too much about Roy Woods. I got a good one coming. Just know we're going we gonna to get some answers to all this OVO shit. I don't like when Maul tries to loop me oh, as OVO, OVO got, man. got a nice little No, PR I'm just saying because you, you, I'm just saying cause you and you and Tori are y'all cool. I yeah, don't, but I, can I, am I brokering a fucking deal? Don't try to put this I out on me with you the serious face. I me thing. because I don't know No Tori. way. You're cool with everybody in OVO. I'm You've cool with You've been to Calabasas. Yeah, I'm cool with everybody. Yeah, come on. That's what I'm saying. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you would definitely. I can't be cool with everybody. You would broke. You what? would broke or something like that. And they tell you, you got to watch niggas cool with everybody. No, not cool with everybody like that. <laughs> I don't do business with everybody. Is this a case? I'm, I'm cool with everybody. I'm not doing it. I'm cool with everybody. I don't have no beef. But I ain't. No, I get it. I get it. I'm fucking with you. Um, how do we feel about this? I think it's dope. I think it's about time. I think, I hope good music comes from it. Him letting Tori uh, perform Controller on that OVO stage was, was a big deal to me because it's like, that's kind of Drake's way of saying, but we all been saying, like, nigga, that's yeah, he did that. He, 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 that's his record. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, still not saying it's his record. No, but I mean, that's a, this acknowledgement of right. the job he did to it. Yeah, Drake's shit was a record. It performed. It, it was. But Tory's still. on the streets, <laughs> and the radios, the house parties, the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, I mean, I, I think that was dope for Toronto. I think, uh, like I said, hopefully they they got a record coming together, man. I think it would be dope. I think it would be dope, and it said, and it, it showed a, it showed a, uh, like when Drake said, "I had never met him, and we had a problem." Like I had never met him, but and then I met him, and he, he's a great guy. Like that says a lot. What was the problem? I, I never knew what their issue was. It was a lot of, it was a lot of behind the scenes shit, and uh, and honestly, like the fact shit. that they had never really, they had never spoke. So it was kind of mm-hmm. like you know when you let other people speaking from this side and from my crew, and it's kind of like you end up with a problem that you never even yeah. You know it is very like? easy to beef with somebody that you have never met. It today. is. That's the easiest thing in the world. Easier. Huh? <laughs> might be easier. Yeah, it's the easiest thing in the world to beef with somebody you've never had a conversation with. That is yeah. so easy. That is so easy. That is the easiest way to beef with somebody. Because typically a conversation will end it all the time, especially if it's two level headed people, right? Which I, and, I which I'd like to think the two of them are. And I mean, in having met both Drake and Tory, I mean, they both are pretty great guys. Yeah. I mean, when you meet them, mm-hmm. or at least they know how to come off as great guys. Mm-hmm. They seem like they like each other. Yeah, yeah they, <laughs> they yeah, seem like yeah. they get along. Yeah, that's they why seem I never like they would the have great chemistry. Right, <laughs> right. Well, that's why I never understood the beef. I asked you a long time ago what this beef was about. Yeah, it was definitely from what I heard. It was behind the scenes shit. Mm. Okay, so I mean, all right, Drake said that. We probably will get some music. Hopefully, I, I hope so. so. Probably sooner than later, too. Yeah. Because I right. think they, Drake likes to use moments as he should, and I think that was a moment followed by some music would be all right. Also, pardon me, also, Drake announced an album. Did he? Yep. I didn't like a that. title? No. And a date? Or just, he just said, yo, I'm working on the music. He said he is working on an album currently to be released, and he will see us again in December. Mm. He did that with views for like two years. I'm aware. Years. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but and then, more life. Yeah, but then Meek kind of stepped to his business, so he had to get a little busy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> had to take some time off. He mm-hmm. was at them games real heavy. He was real busy. He did the SB. He was doing a lot. Mm-hmm. So I understood all of the pushbacks, and I think there was behind the scenes shit with Apple to be negotiated. Absolutely. Still, so yeah, it was a lot of pushbacks. But outside of that, do we know Drake to be pushback man? No, not really. Me neither, yeah, right? Really. And pause. If Drake is pushing back, it's usually because just scheduling. He has a lot of shit that other shit outside of music that he does. So I, if he is pushing a date, it's not because the single, the, the yeah. song didn't pick up that like he wanted it to. It's not because he. Don't, and and yeah. they normally tell us why. <clears throat> yeah, we we waiting on the Whitney sample yeah, to get clear. Yeah, it's, it's always like, shit like that. it's never <laughs> like. Uh, how many more albums does he owe? Uh, cash money. No, you about to open Pandora's box. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, that that. I don't so know. if that's coming towards the end, I don't know I that he imagine. owed him any albums. Yeah, I'm about to say I don't even. I don't know. know. Him any albums. Let me tell you something, man. 
And you about that's a whole nother conversation. He's I don't been, know if y'all want to have it. Listen, he's been moving like he's been trying to get out of a contract. He dropped that mixtape, but it wasn't really a mixtape. He made it an album so he could that count that as one for mm-hmm. cash money. Yeah. Uh More Life did More Life have uh cash money at the bottom? Who reads the credits anymore? I do. But I just don't I remember, I remember. I think it did though, but I can't remember. Yeah, man. I think he's he's been moving like that he's been trying to get out of it. That wouldn't tell me anything either, though. Yeah, I, I was about to say, that still doesn't that let wouldn't me know tell how me close he much is to... Because I agree with you. I do think that at a certain point, it looked like he was moving like he was trying to get out of contract, which brings me to my point. How do I know he's not out of a contract? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, no, I don't think he is. But I, that can cause some pushback if he is at that stint where maybe this contract is ending. And we know Cash Money's business is nuts. So having to get out of that deal can definitely be difficult. But I think so Drake I definitely I, controls when his album drops. Oh, absolutely. 1,000%. Absolutely. Like he's not... But I think he would rather put an album out that was not on Cash Money. So that may be some pushback. That's not saying he can't put an album out. Mm-hmm. But to get out of a contract, there's loopholes. And I, I, he's put out a, a significant amount since He didn't later. look like he was under any duress on that stage. Yeah. He looked healthy. Mm-hmm. Nigga looked like he was glowing. He was hopping around. He was that set high-fiving was niggas. Hard too. He gave Cardi B a pep talk in the back. <laughs> he looked like he was back to, you know what I mean? That has to be a great feeling to be from uh, the biggest artist in music in your city every year. And you know that this weekend is yours every year. It's like that has to be an incredible feeling for him. Well, Drake has done a significant amount of work for Toronto. Yeah, definitely. So he certainly deserves. He gave that Toronto their cool card. Like, <laughs> yeah, dudes Drake. from Toronto are cool now with the ladies. And you can make you can make a big case that Toronto is in that top three for running music right now as a. City. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, I don't even think that's in question. Can nobody really question that anymore? Like, there's a lot. Yeah, Drake of Drake has done a lot. This I, don't, I don't know if we could say. I mean, the the lines are so blurred now. So I don't know if you could say hip hop because a lot of what OVO does is alternative R and B in that kind of mood. Mm-hmm. Drake is really the only rapper. Would you say? From OVO, yeah. So uh, from a music standpoint, I'm saying I'm not can't say that for rap, but yeah, Toronto certainly that sound has kind of engulfed the entire country. Yeah, they're up there with Atlanta. They might be number two if you want to say Atlanta's number one. It's their time. This is their their <laughs> moment. This is their, their their window of years where they kind of dictate the sound. Definitely, I agree with that. In which you probably have to give all that credit to Drake. <laughs> Absolutely, ninety five percent of it. Absolutely. All right, wait. Hold up for two seconds, man. Some shit that I'm just not gonna allow. I like Cardin Official too, but we, I just think Drake gotta, has done more. We gotta get some hate in here. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Everybody relax for a minute. Y'all laughing? Y'all laughing? laughing. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all I'm laughing? laughing? Yes, I'm laughing. You're... I'm only laughing because I know the record. <laughs> I, I know the record. La- no, no, no. I'm more concerned with your laugh, sir. This wasn't Dylon? This Absolutely. wasn't that shit? Yeah. Of course this didn't change any landscape. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild that you had that. Did you have that queued up right? <laughs> no. Oh. You found that pretty fast. Listen, man. Where's he from? Glenn Lewis is from Toronto. I played a Glenn Lewis. Everybody sleeper. relax for a minute. <laughs> no, but relax for a minute. <laughs> we talking about right. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga. Okay. Relax. Drake said he been yeah. Niggas yeah. don't really pay homage to shit no, that Drake, happened. Drake pays homage. I don't give he Yeah, he does. Homage. He does. And, and, every, and every time he does it, I'm like, why the fuck is he shouting on Glenn Lewis? <laughs> And rhyming Ooh. it with hypnotic. Hey, hold up now. Chris wasn't outside. Look at Chris. Sure. You think that's black? <laughs> hey, talk to these niggas, Glenn. Don't you? I think a Glenn now. Yeah, Glenn Lewis has some records for sure. I can for see sure. how Drake was home just looking at Glenn Lewis and the niggas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every that nigga, nigga in Toronto at that, that nigga, moment was looking at Glenn Lewis. That nigga morphed into fucking super all of the, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> super all of them. <laughs> he studied. He studied. Oh, that nigga's dope, man. Yeah, he studied. He definitely studied <laughs> Toronto. Um, sure. what else happened really big? Pause that uh that we like from OVO Fest. Cardi coming out was great. That was we, dope. We just talked about the pep talk. We didn't talk about her actually coming out. She Cardi great. has blown up since our last podcast. <laughs> yeah, I want to be very clear. Yeah, a lot of that's what I was trying weeks. to tell you. So, are you dog. leaning towards my point of that being the song of the summer? No way. I don't know, man. Wild thoughts huh? has gone kind of quiet lately. Pick. 
Y'all argued that my pick wasn't even a summer record. What was your pick? Unforgettable. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's a uh, song or something. Listen, man. I'm just saying, when that Cardi record, the reaction, when that Cardi record comes on. I've man, never heard the whole record. <sighs> Dog, we put- and I get it. It's a remake of the, the other record, but... It that, is. See, and that's yet. very important because no, I asked it you is. niggas no before I listened. It ain't important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, Everyone steals do flows do in hip hop. Everyone, come no, on. Yeah, we, no, yeah, like, we, well, no, we, we, we get that. We have to acknowledge it. We're not saying it's yeah. unacceptable. I'm not saying it's unacceptable. Yeah, it's, we're not saying we, we, it's but we have to acknowledge it. Yeah, it counts. Nobody acknowledged Lloyd Banks when Bobby Schmurter shit came out. Roy, that's a bad equivalent. <laughs> yeah. just, no. just, you could have said the same for Tory and Control. What the hell's Roy well, no, talking about? Well, no, control, because Tory's controller shit's not up there with what Bodak Yellow's doing now. Or Schmurter shit. Mm-hmm. It couldn't do that because no, it wasn't not. allowed to chart. Had, yeah. 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 They changed the beat up mm-hmm. here, and she took that cadence, and she hit it out the park. Yeah. All, listen, don't, whoever's listening, don't take this as Cardi 8. I'm no. Team Cardi all the fucking way. Oh, yeah. I just want to have an objective conversation. Well, she she would come in here and say that. Yeah, she yeah. keep it a buck. Yeah. Well, which record's better? Out of what? Out of Kodak's or hers? I never heard either of these records. <laughs> the, Cardi, <laughs> the Cardi record. Cardi one is, is significantly better. Yeah. I only went and listened to the Kodak record to see how the Cardi record stacked against it. So you have heard both? No. Once I heard the first 12 bars of his record, mm-hmm. I left it. And then I went to hers. And then I heard the first 12 bars that we keep hearing on all of these clips everywhere. All right, so What's know. the chorus? Uh, does it really have a chorus? I don't really think it does. Yeah, it doesn't really have a chorus. And matter of fact, like the third verse, if you would cut them into verses, is the one that's played more. Like the end of the song is the more popular shit. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is what scares me. That oh. shit rang off in San Francisco this weekend like we were in the Bronx. Like that, <laughs> that record is Tell around me. now. It's not just a New York. It hasn't record. gotten to Toronto yet. She, it was she, on stage. It was, on, oh, it was at Ophio Fest. No, no, it's gonna get there. I'm saying the reaction. I, I mean, that I was the first the vid that we could even hear her. <laughs> Normally, we never hear her. The yeah. crowd just says the whole oh, shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it will get there, I'm sure. Because I will tell you one thing, Cardi B is a priority at Atlantic Records. For sure. Oh, but she fucking better. Be. And I'll tell you another thing. Uh, that a few people are trying to keep quiet is kept. We'll just break some news here. I think quite a few people have lost their record deals as of late. <laughs> At Atlantic? I, that, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't wish that. to engage any further in that sentence. Uh, I want to allow people the time to do whatever they need to do uh, business-wise. But Cardi B is, in a, uh, is a priority at Atlantic. They're spending money on Cardi B at Atlantic. Um, and it's working. She looks great. She sounds great. Her and Homeboy look great. Uh, Offset. Yeah, I'm they, not, they I'm look. Not up on my hip hop couples. Yeah, them. They look great. Are they, they still together? I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm, I don't I'm know if they're good. together, but they're seen together often. He brings her out. Mm. She's been performing with them. Yeah. They body in the rollout, man. For a few years now, Cardi has bodied this rollout. Shit, since she did this podcast. <laughs> She was do we, do heating up her? then. Uh-huh. No, I can't do that to K. Michelle yet. I'm trying to think if she's the most su- successful love and hip hop. Let me tell you something. Oh, artist. Nah, she, I mean, she didn't. She don't even have an album out yet, yeah. so you can't say. Yeah, it. I can't do that to K. Michelle. Yeah. K. Michelle. At this I think point. she has the biggest record. Well, no, VSOP was was a big record. Yeah, I don't know if I can say that yet. I'm well, not saying that K. Michelle is more successful than me. I'm not doing that. I don't count you. Oh, okay. <laughs> But if I'm not counting me, yeah. Definitely the biggest. Mm. If I'm not counting know. men, let me say that. Yeah, we can't do that to Young Jock because I put him over you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put K. Michelle over Jim Jones. Oh, I don't count Jimmy at all. Like, I don't even yeah. think he he was part of the show, I guess. He named the show. And I guess Joel's Joel's was on. <laughs> you don't know what fucking yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Talking about. Jim named it. Yeah, I yeah. don't count Jim. It was Chrissy, and then Jim just happened to live with her. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> no, nah. I don't think so. Because Jim, his personality on that show was classic. So remember when he ran down on uh, Samaya Reese's manager? Man, listen. <laughs> Do you think the way you moving out here is conducive <laughs> to your to your well being? 
So I mean, nah, Jim, a, you ain't you ain't just use the word conducive <laughs> with some arms out like that. That's <laughs> an honest question, man. Nah, that was a very honest question. And what did that and an honest moment? But what did the manager nigga do to have Jim run up on him like that? I don't remember. He was saying some wild shit. Talking oh, he about was his talking wife. Wow. And he was talking about how oh, much yeah, money he get wait. for a show. Yo, let me tell you something. This is what I'm noticing, man. And I'm gonna say this. I ain't gonna delve too deep into this, but this is some new fuck nigga shit that's happening. Where again, because niggas don't get punched in the face. Niggas, young niggas speak a lot on niggas' girls. <laughs> yeah, I never understood. I that. see that a lot. I never played that. And game. I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't, Man, I don't understand that game listen. at all. I don't play that game. That nigga was talking greasy about Chrissy. Mm-hmm. Well, he wasn't young. He was old then, and that was 10 I years know, ago. but <laughs> no, that was out of line then. So it when Jim deep. checked him, how it was received was how it should have been received. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about today. I feel like in the past four weeks, I've heard mad people say something about somebody else's girl. (laughs) This is a random theory that I probably can't prove, but the younger generation is kind of cooler to have a girl. When we were growing up, you you just tried to fuck as many bitches as you could, didn't claim it. It wasn't as cool to have a girlfriend as it is now and more acceptable to claim that this is your wife type shit. I think it's a little different now. Um, So people now attack what they see and what's the closest thing to you. And now it's the open girlfriend. I'm not saying that will what it get you killed. Happen. What is wrong with kids nowadays? They're attacking what they see. The closest I don't thing to you. How, we, how I even start talking about that, but shit. What was we talking about before this? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy and Chrissy. Chrissy. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so back to K Michelle. What about K Michelle? Well, the, we started this with K Michelle. <laughs> yeah, her, her and, Cardi. <laughs> and we stopped, oh, went to yeah. there from Cardi. <clears throat> uh, so, I, oh, I wait. Like a number. I don't know if. if Bodak is bigger than VSOP. Wait, I don't care about any of that. I have a new place for us to segue to. Did you, y'all probably didn't see the clip that Stevie J put out? I did about uh, Jocelyn. Yeah, Maul, did you see it? <laughs> Stevie J put out a clip of him in the sauna. I don't know why he's in the fucking sauna, but because <laughs> he's Stevie J, he wouldn't yeah, be in the yo, sauna. Put your, put your why phone? you even got your phone? In yeah, the sauna? and where are you putting it afterward? <laughs> right. No, tell me. Yeah. Where are you gonna, tell me you got a pocket in your towel so I can judge you. <laughs> Anybody with a That's pocket fire, towel. Actually. <laughs> No, you know why it's not fire? Because normally the pocket towels come are the ones with the Velcro <laughs> that you got. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me it's fire. Now tell me you wrapping around your towel <laughs> with the Velcro patch. <laughs> Those yeah. was trash. Those came and went. <laughs> they tried something with that. That shit was Man, like, my mom I had one too. with that shit. Yeah, I had one of them bullshits. <laughs> I had one of them bullshits. <laughs> Me too. I got rid of that my shit. My mom came with that shit. Did. Nah, mom. I'm yeah. Sorry. Nah. I'm Velcro on me after the shower. I'm already clumsy. <laughs> almost kill myself every time. Now I'm fucking stabbing myself. <laughs> um, uh, Stevie J. Oh, yeah. So he's in the fucking sauna and he's saying uh, that Jocelyn is upset at Cardi B's success. And he's, she's taking it out on him and won't let him see the child. And then he said, he said, listen, Cardi B didn't upset anybody. She didn't make anybody angry. She played her role. She did everything she had to do. Don't be mad at me. Wait, let me connect these dots for you because I'm going somewhere here. Stevie J said that, right? Mm-hmm. Now, just follow me. While that was happening, Jocelyn responded on Instagram. Right. Mm. And while all of that happened, Nicki Minaj posted a video in support of Cardi B. And after all of that happened, you got mad time on your hands. I do. I get off early. (laughs) I get off early. And after all of that happened, Maul, Cardi then posted something saying, I'm ghetto, not dumb. I see all of the shits or whatever. She said, remember who raised me the streets. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you take from any of this, anybody? Because I have some theories. <laughs> I, I was, I'm, sure, I'm sure you have a bunch of theories behind I have theory. some theories here. Take it away, because I was lost at Stevie J. Okay, now. Blaming not seeing his child on Cardi. Now. A and, Nicki and Cardi and right, I, is definitely and, happening, by the way. I'm going to just put that out there right now. He that's, lied! That's definitely going to happen. Y'all niggas worship him! Okay. Nikki and Carl. Right. I'm not yeah. implying anything. As of Never, right now, who's that better for? Said nothing about him. Who does that Ma- benefit right now? Fucking lie. I don't know what Maul thought. Maul was lying. What? That they're gonna have a record? Nobody wanna. No nobody way. wants to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. No way, Jose Maul. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, buddy. See. Can't sell me on it. 
Right. Do you have inside information here? No, I don't. I'm just I just I just feel like that that's going to happen. All right, here's a question for you. What did Nikki do? Just post a video or I don't care what she did. I know Well, let me tell you what she did. Because I care what she did. Because mm -hmm. I'm petty and obsessive. She posted a video of Cardi at one of her performances or in a club, uh, jamming out to a Nikki record that was playing in the club. Mm, okay. Was it the new record? I don't know. Cardi posted a video of herself dancing. No, Nikki posted a video of Cardi dancing to a Nikki record at one of her performances. And then she said, yeah, you know, in the caption, yeah, Cardi, whatever. You know, just whatever. But that was the video. Now. Is this going to lead to another? I think this kind of bitches on my son gets Nikki to my, what I just said. I know. Okay. So Which you have more information? No. Okay. I am. I just think everybody's a liar. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Okay. So I know that you would think that, mm -hmm. and I'm here to debate it. I want to debate it. I disagree. Tell me why Nikki has not hopped on that record already. I mean, I don't know why she hasn't. She I don't know she why hopped she hopped on the Young and May record. I don't know why she would. I don't know why she hasn't hopped on it yet. <laughs> But, but I will say that I still think that they're going to do a record together. You said that already. Maybe she don't want you said to touch that, that record. All right, you said that already. Now, <clears throat> listen to this. Wouldn't it help? Help with Cardi? Help Wouldn't who? it help Nicki? That, uh, well, help Nicki, that if Nicki that was hopped on the second verse and tore that beat to shreds like we all know she's capable of, mm -hmm. wouldn't it help her? Yeah, I think so. Not only on the music front, but image-wise. Back to unity brings you back to fucking with the women people have painted you as a hater behind the scenes because of how you dealt with whatever it was. I don't remember. But it would do a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that somebody somewhere knows that, mm -hmm. which tells me that if it hasn't happened yet, got to be a reason for it somewhere. Got to be. Got to be. It's a risk, I think. So then when she posted for her because a few records have not worked and people love this Cardi record. They know it works. That's why word. it's not a risk. No, you're hopping on a, a, a record that's not yours. It's working. It's working already. All you got to do is tear it to shreds. But that's my point. I don't know if that's going to happen. So now people are oh, just a come dud. on. You know, Nikki could still tear something to shreds if she feel like it. I hope she would feel like it in the past records. that I We I've probably heard. haven't heard it in a little while. We ain't probably heard her rip something to shreds in a little while. From what we know, she could But do. she ain't hopping on them hardcore beats. So no, 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 no. I think if Queen's Nikki hopped on one of them hardcore beats, we would hear that. So my point is, when she posts this video, and I didn't want to delve this deep into this, but I'll just give you all my thoughts since I'm here. When she posted this video, first thing I thought is, all day long I keep seeing people post videos of Cardi performing in front of crowds with the, with the crowd singing every word. Mm -hmm. So if you want to champion her and support her, why would you not post one of those? That got my brain to thinking about some of the stories that people have reported on her, and it said maybe Cardi was responding to Nikki. Mm -hmm. And it was just masked I could between see. Stevie J and Jocelyn. And I think that because... I don't think that's a thought. I, of why would be Cardi to Nikki? B even care about anything Jocelyn says or does? Are people suggesting Because when Obviously Cardi says... Listen, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, people are dumb. Why They're not dumb. Stevie J said something, and Jocelyn said something, and Cardi <laughs> said something. That ain't dumb. Right. That's following the trail of but Cardi, shit. Cardi just... don't do that. She replies to every last thing that's said about her? No. She, she, <laughs> she replies be, to a lot. She would be replying mm -hmm. all day. She, she replies to a lot, and she has already admitted to some of that stuff uh, having an effect on her. She said that on her podcast, too. She said on her Instagram, she replies to a lot. Not directly. Yeah. Not directly like we're talking about now. That was direct. Oh, so in the direct... Well, what, did, what did Jocelyn say? Because I didn't see that. I don't know. Something about it. Bad bitch working. Just, just, she didn't... So she wasn't dissing... No, 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 no. Oh, you cannot... Was ten, listen, was anybody Nikki. dissing Cardi right now is just a pure hater. Yeah. Anybody and I, that does it. And I yeah. think that is known. Yeah. You can't... You can't I think that's so, known. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. It's hard I don't not, think you could ever think that was to Cardi Jocelyn. Right now. So... I don't know why you keep saying that. You can think that's the Jocelyn. Mm. If she was bigging her up, why? She thought it was maybe in bad taste or she didn't really mean it. 
No, Jocelyn didn't big up Cardi. Oh, that's what I just asked, and you said yeah. She no, she was big up herself. Gone. She was big oh, okay, up, okay, okay, up okay, herself. Okay. Like, nah, fuck the bullshit. Just Puerto Rican princess. We working out here. Mommy's fried. You know all of that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> mommy's ride. Uh, wait, mommies don't ride. <laughs> well, now that mommies you said mommies ride. ride, yeah, yeah. like go That's ahead. Funny man, mommies don't ride. <laughs> Mommy stopped riding ever since the Puerto Ricans fucking start raising everybody. It's a fucking parade. Yeah, they <laughs> mommy stopped riding quick. <laughs> they ruined a good parade. Mom- mommies got out the car. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Mommy went to press charges <laughs> on you niggas. What was that? Ninety nine? Yeah, that was years. ago I was there. That was probably my last time going. That was mine too. Yeah. Uh, turned the deal. I said never again. Who <laughs> <laughs> no. we out of this motherfucker? <laughs> uh, we talked about all that shit for a real long time. Od. Shikari deserves it though. No, I'm, I'm talking about all of it. We kind of bounced, springboarded. From OVO Fest through all of this shit. Mm-hmm. Good transition. Like by mistake. I'm into it. All right, well, what's happening? Y'all ready to Chance and uh, Vince kind of. Yeah, everyone became friends reunited. this weekend. Yeah, they did. That's, yeah. that's terrible. I hate when everyone's friends. I like Vic Minch's album. I want to say that while oh, we're yeah. talking about him. I'll I do. I like it's it good. It's good. Yeah, he can rap. And the produ- and sing. production is <laughs> great on it, too. And sing. I say, I didn't know. I wasn't really familiar with. Vic during his little rock stint when he was doing the other shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a nice either. fusion of that on his album. Yeah, he did it well. He deserves. He, he deserves. He deserves it. He deserves it. He didn't sell too well, but I. I mean, who cares? Yeah, no. The 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 body of work is dope, though. Yeah, people are gonna people are gonna come back to this album as his career furthers. They're gonna come back and point to this album like, yo, they should. Yeah, and I know he's managed by Rock Nation. Is yeah, Rock Nation. Jam? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who's on Def Jam. Oh, I do know who's on Def Jam. Yeah, don't say it. I know where you're going to go with that. Don't say it. <laughs> Why? That was the next topic. <laughs> oh, that one. I thought you were talking about something else. No, I'm talking about Paul. <laughs> wait, who's, no, wait, who's on Def Jam? <laughs> Nothing, man. Hmm. <laughs> don't give him no just, ammo. Just forget, <laughs> yeah, forget I said anything. Yeah, Vic is on Def Jam. Oh, well, I he was talking about, uh, I was talking about Paul. Yes. Paul. Yeah. Where does this leave you? Are you on Def Jam now? No. <laughs> Def Jam Vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> Everything comes full circle. <laughs> mm. Now, see, hold up, but let's let's fucking fucking uh just talk some shit for a little bit here. Yo. If I'd ended up back on Def Jam, <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Please just let us come up to all the meetings. And nah, just, just FaceTime just sit, me from the Just sit meeting. in the just corner. Let the phone sit there and just FaceTime me. I don't even have to be there. If I ended up back on Def Jam and the president already knows who Joe is, like all the dickhead asshole shit is like. That's why that would be funny. Because <laughs> I don't think you would end up on Def Jam with Paul there. I mean, everything no, is I'm everything not. is universal. Oh, you think Paul and Tommy? No. I don't think Paul was signing either, bro. Yeah, hell, why would Paul take that <laughs> headache on? Let's let's talk about that. He knows you now. Like now he's dealt with you. He probably loves your talent. Like amazing talent. But oh, does no, he wait. want to have for Joe to have access to the office oh, wait. whenever he wants? Hold up. Time out. <laughs> to where to time where out. I actually sit down and right. do my work. Right. <laughs> okay, time out. We was having two different conversations. Oh, okay. I would never sign a Def Jam as a solo artist. Okay. So that conversation Today. don't even need to be had. Ever. Okay. Ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever again. Mm-hmm. Now, when I was talking, when I was at, I was talking about Slaughterhouse, ended up on uh, Def Jam, mm-hmm. which That's would have me well. ending up on Def Jam, which is still pretty funny because now you have to deal with Joe every day. It's your group, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And that complex office is like right down the block, right. so Joe could just go right from complex man, every morning. What? Too much Joe down there moving through them <laughs> streets, man. I, like, listen, I laugh every morning on my way to complex because it's the same street as. My Def Jam. Exactly. I laugh like life is that funny. Mm-hmm. You just never know where you would go. Like even fucking when I was spending all my time in, in Montclair State University. Like, who know? Like back then, I didn't go there. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like well, life is well, just we funny. Didn't, we didn't think you went there. Some pop, some people probably thought I went there, nigga. No, I mean, just <laughs> knowing you, I didn't think you went to college. Y'all got a little, <laughs> lot of little secret little laughs and shit. <laughs> that one. 
Fuck well, because we here. know you're, you dropped out, Joe. That's why. Thanks, Rory. <laughs> um, but no. All right. But I don't know if that's happening. So we don't have to talk about that. So is, how do we feel no, about the move is what, I'm, is what I mean. He can't. He can't. He can't. Why I did mean, Paul get this job? That's I mean, what I was trying to figure out. Relationships and you know how it goes. And Paul is qualified. No, no, no. Not that he's not qualified. Well, he definitely, yeah, I don't know Paul why, Paul he, is overqualified. why he yeah, wanted to do it. Yeah. I mean, I just, he can't fuck it up because it's, he's going to a situation that he's only trying to fix at this point. So he can't, I don't think he can fail. Anything would be a, a, a plus. Rory, can you find all the artists on Def Jam? That's literally all the exactly rappers what I was just about to On Def Jam. That's what I'm saying. So he can't. Def Jam is in a bad fucking spot. But they've been in this position before. This is maybe the fourth time they've been in this position. Third. They've been in they've this been position. They've been going to execs. Ever since Lee, ever since Lee or left. Yeah. No, I, I don't want to get back into it, but LA had a good run with them as far as money making. I'm not saying the music. That no, came he, out. yeah. They made yeah. money. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They, they, they made some money. Definitely. It, it wasn't a steady seat, is what I'm saying. Well, they haven't, because then No ID was in there. Uh, Even LA was in there uh, three years longer than, <laughs> longer than the rumors suggested. It was those rumors every few years. Mm-hmm. But wait, I was going somewhere really good from this. Uh, the damn artists it. they have. You know what's concerning to me? And I just found this out. Davey's album is dropping this month. Uh, the 18th, right? The 18th, yeah. Next Friday. Yeah. Paranoia. That's got to be kind of shitty, shitty Let me for just him, say, though. I'm looking forward to it. I'm... I'm I'm definitely as, gonna sit as a down Davies and really listen fan. To I'm album. excited as well, but I think with the transition between your boss at a label is not the best time to put yeah, out an album. Yeah, that's what happened. To me. This this move that's that this position oh, that, that Davies is in yeah. is exactly where Joe Budden's career took the hard turn. Mm-hmm. If I were Davies, and Davies should not listen to me, <laughs> 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 because this is where Joe Budden's career took the hard turn, but. I would try to change that. Well, here's the thing. See, now, he, this is what works in his favor, though. When I was having this argument back then, once you put an album into motion, you couldn't stop it. Right. You had to. It was too much. They it put was, out the Chris Brown record. Yeah, so. it, it was too much. So I was shitting bricks, like, watching them throw niggas off the diving board. Just like, because right, once it's in motion, you can't stop it. But now today... You got a little more control today. Mm-hmm. And I don't think people are in 2000, what, four, three? That was. This was 2000, you, uh, 2005 ish. 2004, 2005. Major labels were much more necessary to artists. There wasn't really a blueprint outside of the label at that point. And of course, there were some independent labels. I don't think he has to be as reliant on his label as you would have in 2005. So even though that transition is happening, there's a lot he can do on his own and his management team He's and doing people it. around him. He's yeah. doing it. He's doing it. So uh, it's not a total fail the way the position you were in where it was like, all right, if I, 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 need, don't, I need my label to, I to don't promote want, me. I don't want people to judge Dave East in the event that his numbers come back looking a certain way. And I, yeah. That's and, my thing. Yeah, that's my that's, thing. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it's an yeah. unfair predicament an unfair to put a brand new artist who has a lot of attention. Yeah. Like that. It's like you set him up to fail. Yeah. And on top of that, Dave did not get the attention for like just one record. He's had a very great slow build with actual projects. So it's not like he relies on the big record. That's not how he got introduced to us. So this isn't the end if there is bad sales. And I'm going to say this again. The fact that the nigga is attractive might hurt him. How so? Because. Are you comparing this to back to you? In 2005? Uh, I'm comparing it to the saying, <laughs> I'm comparing it to the saying, sometimes your record is bigger than you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see what you're saying. They loving Dave East because he's extremely attractive. That might hurt later in music. If you're just known because you're so fucking, it, you just look like that? That might hurt. Yeah, but in Dave's inst- instance where... He's like a rapper's rapper. Like we like him. We like rapper. him. But you have you have to think, chicks wouldn't if he didn't look great. So now he has that attention. They'll listen because he looks great. Exactly. So take the fucking attention and go work the Chris Brown record you just put out. Go do well, something. Don't just drop an album. <clears throat> well, that could have been their plan. They could they could have been. When I don't have a president, 
I don't but, think you know they what's anticipated funny, though? that. Though. I, I think that honestly, I feel like he might be in somewhat of a great position because all he has to do is make sure the content on the album is dope. Now, whether it sells or not, if it flops, he can always say, "Yo, we was in the transition at the time." If he does great, it's like, damn, he did that, and they was in the transition with presidents at the time when he put that album out, and he put out a dope fucking record. So I kind of feel like he's not in a bad position. I understand what you're saying, but if the if the music is dope on this album, that's all he has to do is put put out dope music. It has I heard to be dope a snippet the album. other day on it, on his Instagram that sounded like nothing but flames. It sounded like him on a New York beat, but still with that bop that the kids fuck with. Mm -hmm. Didn't sound like he was trying to sound like from over there somewhere. Mm -hmm. It sounded like the Dave East we want to hear, so that was refreshing Yeah, to see that. Okay, well, I think we're, if he does that, he'll be all right. We're 10 days out, so this week will be very telling as far as where we see him and what the label has set up right. for this program. Okay, I run. guess that's my question. I wonder what the label expects. Oh, they can't expect shit. They ain't got a fucking president. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, but yeah. that's what I was saying. If it flops, it's, he's not going to catch much slack for it. Somebody who signed Dave East is catching some slack if he flops. But how? Well, that's, just, that's just not. That because just that's the music business. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but that's fucked up because if that's we're, what I'm if saying, we're in a transition Maul, of a, that's a president. That, that's like, what like, I'm nigga, saying. That's not our fault. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a different captain now. Like, <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Okay. I agree. That's going to be fucked up. He just got to make sure to... The album, the music is dope. I'm confident that it'll be a good project. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not confident in depth. I wasn't really. When I heard Chris Brown, Dave East, I was like, oh, okay. When I heard it, I wasn't. Mm. Have they put a video out for it yet? No. See, I think that back to how women are attracted to him, and obviously Chris too. That's certainly a great. I, I would hope that would come out before the album, within the next few days. Because mm. that's certainly some attention. People are going to watch Dave and Chris together visually. Pause. Mm -hmm. So that would definitely spark some interest going into this rollout. But I'ma buy it. Yeah. I'ma buy it. Dave got my ten dollars. Yeah, I want him to win, man. There's a there's an M album coming at some point. What label is that coming on out under? Shady. <laughs> he owns it. I don't think definitely. he has to where is Shady, definitely. Where is Shady coming out under? Interscope, which is universal. Everyone's at a universal. I so know. it don't really matter so where I, you are. <laughs> it matters to me. <laughs> you all under Universal. Uh, I have the Def Jam artist too, if you're interested. Let's hear. We just got Fuck it. Tenor. Let's hear. Uh, Two Chains, Babyface, Designer, Jeremiah, Pusha T, Vince Stables, YG, Q Tip, Lil Dirk, Janae Iko, uh, Iggy, Earl St. Clair, who's really dope, by the way. Um, Alisa Kara, I can never pronounce her name correct. Uh, Big Sean, Elijah Blake, Jada Kiss, Justin Bieber, Logic, Tiana Taylor. Uh, Jacoy, Fab, Common, uh, August, Davies, Gunplay, Jeezy, Kanye. I can Nas. see why Def Jam don't put too many albums out. It's a lot of people that don't put out consistent <laughs> I'd, I'd albums. I'd love to take a walk through Def Jam and and see how much art is hanging I out. I didn't know all of those people. I didn't, I didn't know all of those people were there. Well, with Universal buying everything up, they kind of just play musical chairs and they just throw people to different gotcha. labels. Like Justin gotcha. Bieber was originally on Island, and then Def Jam and Island merged, so he became a Def Jam artist. It's all over the fucking place. Hey, if somebody has been to Def Jam recently, the new Def Jam, uh, I'd love to know how much art is hanging up, honestly. That sounds a little yikes. <laughs> That's, That's a, a lot of wild. people over there. I didn't know that. That's a lot of people that are non-productive. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people that don't put out albums that often. Yeah. But why is that, though? I, I feel like it's so now I don't have room... Shit. See, and that's where Paul Paul going to have his hands full, and that's what I'm getting at here. Paul yeah. has quite the job to do over there with a lot lesser talent when you used to working with Eminem. Mm -hmm. Paul's got to get young people in there. They have to hire people. Because Def Jam, where they've always failed as of recent, they're terrible at artist development. They don't do well like the way RCA does well with new artists. Def Jam doesn't. Def Jam does great with stars. Hmm. They know how to put out Kanye West. They know how to put out Rihanna. Could Paul hire me? <laughs> You're not young. Wait, all right. Wait. No, go ahead. Because I see where. Because I like. Wait, wait. I like when I wait see Joe's brain working through wait his scalp. Like, like, wait, a, wait a minute. Go ahead. This is what I hear when your brain is fucking <laughs> going over here. I, every time I say something, no, I'm, go ahead. I'm hearing like snarks. No, no, no. I, because how I, come when the, I talk about being hireable? No, you it's laugh. the way. It's the way you intro <laughs> yourself. Like I can't find a phone. Just say it. I want to hear it. 
I want to hear it. I wonder if Paul could hire me as an executive and Slaughterhouse be on Def Jam still. So we'd ha- so we'd have you as an, a difficult artist and a di- uh, difficult executive too. You'd have an office next to him and see him every day. Think that's what Paul wants in his life? Maybe not right next to him. <laughs> yeah, definitely not right next to him. I think Paul loves me more more than he lets on. <laughs> Keep thinking that, bro. That makes you feel better. About I don't know why y'all situation. y'all. It's only y'all that think everybody hate me because y'all deflect y'all feelings on other people. No, fuck out of here. Oh, no, we just hate you. That's that's what I just said. That's what deflect <laughs> means. <laughs> but, but like um, I said, Paul, I don't. He's in a situation where they can only go up. I don't. I don't. He can't. It, he can't bring the company down any further than it is right now. It's impossible. <laughs> I, it's, for, it's Yo, every time Maul says something is impossible, I think it's very possible. <laughs> no, this is impossible. Def Jam can fall no. worse. How? You know what's gonna be the greatest? Man, what do you mean? How? Where can where can they go from here? Let these they numbers cannot. come back. <laughs> Whose numbers? Any of these releases <laughs> numbers? No, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think it can get worse than this. It's Man. bad. At Def, it's bad right now. It's bad at Def Jam Yo, right now. We're saying the same thing. I I'm gonna take a job at Def Jam just so I can watch when Kanye West walks in. To Paul's office and says, "I want to put an album out to see that fucking conflict." Because <laughs> you know Paul's personality is not as forgiving as the execs Kanye has dealt with. Let me tell his you his entire career. Let me just be perfectly clear <laughs> with you. Uh, and this is why it's important that Paul comes from. He just works with M. If Steve Bartles is not in there running anything, <laughs> if he's not in there, Steve Bartling. I'd triple dear Kanye to step to Paul like that. That's what I'm suggesting. <laughs> I'd love to be there. Let me tell you something. He's going to have a long day. <laughs> hey, that little Kansas mountaintop you in, okay, going to shut all that down. Hey, shut the lights off in the mountain. <laughs> I'm just saying. We predict we predict a lot of shit on this podcast. Hey, Wait for that Paul Rosenberg know. Twitter rant. The, it's going to be the, amazing. Wait, the Paul, hey, you on to something here. The Paul Rosenberg... <laughs> Uh, Kanye beef. It's, Paul, ha- it's going hey, to first happen. First of all, let me just apologize to Paul. First of all, because I'm talking about Paul too much as somebody that's supposed to be signed there. But Paul, this is funny shit. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> uh, listen, the Paul and Kanye beef is imminent, like the it's Chris happening. Paul James Harden beef. <laughs> and Maul, that beef already started happening. And I know you've seen the fucking footage. The same beef you told me was not going to happen. Oh. You've seen a little clip going around from the Drew League of. Uh, Chris Paul mad that James Harden didn't take the fucking layup barking on him while James Harden is busy dancing, hitting his nene. Tell me you didn't see it. Yeah, but that don't come on, man. Nene is still funny. I don't pay that no mind. Yo, Maul is crazy. What? That's, that's summer happening league. That's truly. That's I my mean, point. Come on. If he's doing that in the fucking summer league, what do you think is happening uh, in Houston? No. That's a different level of... James, come on. The Drew League is just showing out having fun. I'm listen, get I'm on the over under <laughs> of the <laughs> amount of fights that they're gonna have. This season. We'll see. Over under being three point five. That fights. we that we hear about? Or that just happened? No, come on, y'all know we 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 gonna get to it. If it happens, we gonna <laughs> yeah, But we're I don't mean it. I don't mean real fights. I mean like no, you know, be, on court yeah, yeah, yeah. discourse. Yeah. yeah. Russell Durant shit. Three point five. Over. <laughs> over. Yes, over. Say something. I don't know. That's happening. There's another oh, NBA really beef that's happening soon. They say the Knicks are signing Michael Beasley. Mm. I don't particularly care about the Knicks right now. Mm. They signed Ramon Sessions. Nobody said a word. The Kyrie <laughs> shit just went away. That was disappointing. That's because Phoenix is supposed to be a done deal. Kyrie to Phoenix is supposed to be set in stone. Oh, well. That's what I hear anyway. Well, go, bottom line go, is Knicks fans Wizards. have to endure another rough season. Me, well, Maul, Maul the nigga told us Melo wasn't going to start the season in New York. I, I think he might. No. Now. Mm-mm. No, he's going. If he ain't going to Houston and he ain't going to Cleveland. I thought he would have been in Houston. Moved and where's he going? Now. He's he's definitely going to be in Houston. Definitely. How? They just, they have, they're just trying to get a third team involved for uh, Ryan I know. Anderson. But what? the Knicks don't need him no more because... They're not running the triangle no more. They wanted they wanted him. Phil wanted him for the the triangle offense. Where does that place Houston if they get mellow in the West? They'll be a top four top fourteen because you got to figure the Clippers are going to fall. 
they won't be top four this year. Absolutely. Yeah, but if the Thunder make another nice move. Yeah, they'll be one of the top four teams. Shit, if Melo go to the Thunder. Yeah. I like him better at Houston. I don't know. It's going to be too much fighting going on over one ball. I want Melo to get out of the <laughs> Now you're putting him with a whole other ball, but I don't, I don't want to get into I, basketball I like Melo too much. I want him to go out and win for a change. Are we finally going to have a transparent conversation about power? I, I tweeted. that I watched Empire. That was not power. That was an episode of Empire. I don't, it, they, I, I told y'all when Kanan got up from the fire last season. <laughs> I was kind of like looking at Powell. Like, man, what the fuck? I don't ever want to see Tasha sing karaoke in another episode again. Okay, my thing is this here. And I was right. I said the lawyer was going to smash. He did. Yeah, I mean, after that long hug, Powell's been a little too telling. So Mm -hmm. a long uh, hug means 50 is saying that there's some behind the scenes disagreements between stars and Power. Like what are they disagreeing about? Oh, probably oh getting killed, Power probably killed asked, off the show. Power probably asked for the Power asked for more episodes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Star yeah. said no. Hmm. Interesting. Where'd you read which, that? Which, which, I don't Go remember. Go get that Netflix bag. I man. don't remember, but. Power would be, do better on Netflix. That bags. would explain a lot of my complaints this season. About the writing? Yes. Because a lot of it is sped through, rushed, and just don't make sense. Yeah. It sloppy. seems it's very it sloppy. seems like they're trying to y'all are jamming yeah, the episodes yeah and we're and your audience is smarter than that I figured it out this week and when I watched this episode I said that's what's missing from power I'm gonna watch it every week but that's set in stone the suspense is missing mm-hmm. for me because we've guessed all of this we yeah. we know we know everything yeah we guess it all before mm-hmm. it happens Ta- who Tasha fuck like we can see it um, a mile a fucking way so then we waiting to see the clever way that they're gonna tell it and then it they're like. Yeah. That's what you tell us? Right. Really? Angela, you just now checking some fucking footage? Y'all just <laughs> saw the nigga walk up the stairs? Right. It's a 10-episode season is why I'm saying what are we this on to now? y'all. Six or seven? seven? We're waiting for eight. Eight is next. We're waiting for eight now. Jeez. What? Come on, man. Damn, so we only got three weeks left? Yes. That's what I'm telling you. Damn. Well, unless they negotiate. Unless there's something I don't know. For these and, and, episodes. But... Star P- Power is a ten episode season. They just got to go to Netflix. Just get the Netflix bag. David Letterman just got a Netflix bag. Yeah, I heard Netflix was in like six billion dollars debt. You know why? Where did you hear that? Somewhere online, and it was some incredible shit. It wasn't like just some random link. But come on, because I watch every I watch everything on Netflix, and I don't have an account. Netflix so I can not. I can that's, believe that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Netflix. I don't even know whose debt. account I have. Yeah, I can believe that. They're not in debt. I can believe they're it. They're giving people fifty million dollars, and people are paying seven ninety nine for a subscription and giving it to fifteen other people. That is not how Netflix makes their money. <laughs> I don't know how they make their money. I'm just, tell, I'm just telling you what Netflix I see. Netflix is not. Well, that is a big portion of their money, though. Subscribers, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is, but. Like the rest of them, they're they're looking at how many they add. They're yeah. looking at their growth, mm-hmm. right? So they're not looking at the seven ninety nine that niggas are or are not spending. Mm-hmm. They're looking at they're they're about to beat cable. They're probably beating cable now for sure. Oh yeah, I wouldn't so, say otherwise. For sure. So all of the shit, they're not losing money because they keep paying people, and not only that. If they're losing money, I bet they borrowed against themselves because now they're putting movies out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all didn't see that that Will Smith movie? Yeah. The Come on, they, that, yeah. Don't it look like? Definitely yeah, watching nah, this, that. This it is from like, uh, LA Times, Fader, CBS. Yeah, Netflix is $20 billion in debt. Is what, Jesus I'm, Christ. I'm sure. But that's misleading. Yeah. I see what you're saying. That's they, misleading. They, they borrowed, yeah. I'm, they are in debt. Yeah. They're doing shit. <laughs> but it's not from... That's why I tell from, people from not a, to sign a record deal because you're just taking a loan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you're taking a loan. Netflix has a business plan. They've taken a loan and they moving. And that Will Smith shit looks crazy. It looks in the style of Netflix. Mm. Y'all ain't fuck with Ozark yet? Yeah, I, I did. Finish that shit. Did we like, talk about like that day. here at all? We touched on it a little bit, but I definitely started watching A lot it. more people are fucking with Ozark now. Yeah. Narcos comes back in September. I, uh, I watched the El, Ch- El Chapo uh, series. I watched that. Come that on. Was crazy. Oh, that was for that. real. That was crazy. That was yeah. for real. Uh, 
Ozark, I loved. Didn't really love the, the ending, ending, but it, it's setting up for season setting two. Up. So I'm not too mad at yeah, it. Yeah, they're setting up. I'm not mad. Jason Bateman is underrated as an actor. 100%. Yeah. He's he, uh, I mean, because of course people knew him from comedy shit, but he's yeah. a great serious actor and gives comic yeah. relief when yeah. he's being serious. That's the is, first thing great. Sin said when we cut it on. She said, I don't, I don't, I'm not used to him in serious roles, so let me see. Yeah, that's why he's he bodied it. To me. Yeah, he underrated. bodied it. Absolutely. The wife did too. She was great. Mm hmm. That whole family's a fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> What's their last name? What family is that? The Rayburns? I already I get my shows confused. The Rayburns is either Bloodline or... Huh? Yeah, the birds got the Rayburns beat. The Rayburns from Bloodline. Them y'all, fuck fuck Queen, too. y'all fuck with Queen of the South? I hated it. I haven't watched it. I don't like this, <clears throat> this stuff that's... Uh, Queen of the South comes on USA. Mm. One of them, right? And because it's played on one of those cable networks, their style of shooting is very bright. Um, It's only but so much they can and cannot do. So I don't like that style of. That's what I was saying about Ozark. That the way they filmed that, I don't. The way they finish it, it looks like a movie. Yeah, that quality of 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 I like when shot like like that. Yeah, it looks like a movie. You know what else was shot like that? What was the shit that everybody watched with the boy? Uh, Damn, Nad was his name from a few years ago. It was the big doc of the kid. It was the case. I killed that shit on our podcast. Making a murder? No. Naz. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Night of. Night of. On HBO. Night yeah. of was shot like that. Yeah. Night of was shot that was crazy. Amazing. That looked great. Yeah. I like when shit is shot like that. That's why I didn't fuck with Queen of the South, really. I was mm-hmm. hoping HBO was going to make that like a series. Not Naz's case, but like just a bunch of cases like that. Because they said yeah. it was like a quick series or whatever, but I was like, you could do this with a bunch of different cases and just make it a different Shh, one every give year. Give away content ideas. Well, they would, pro- they would probably do the night of better than I would, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shortchange yourself. Man. <laughs> you want me to write, shoot, and film it? I think. Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid, do it all. I'm afraid of some of I the know things Rosenberg. <laughs> that I think Rory's brain could conjure up. Which I think you, about. If you uh, paid him to. <laughs> which I thought about Defiant ones. I Loved thought it was it. fucking phenomenal. We didn't talk about that since then? We, we kind of touched on it. Yeah. Like, right when it came out, I just uh, recently finished it. I didn't know that much about Jimmy Ivey. I didn't either. I'll be Holy the first shit. to admit that. Or I already thought he was that. amazing. I didn't know he was this great. When yeah. he said when he, said he <laughs> the story about Easter, when he wasn't going to go to the mm. studio to work because his family yep. was at his we, house and he was like, I got to go in. Yeah, he bought it. And then John Lennon was yeah. there. I'm like, though, that doesn't ha- life doesn't work like that. John Lennon, like, you're about to go, and yeah, you didn't even notice. And the dude was like, I just that's wanted to see if he was going to come in. That's That was life-changing for him. Like, he could have okay, easily yeah. like, I can't go. Family's here. It's Easter. Like, mm. See, I think that's exactly how life works. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy for and me. And then with, with Bruce uh, Springsteen, he was like, no, nah, I'm not here to be an engineer. I'm, I'm producing your shit. Right. <laughs> right. Like, that's a ballsy thing to say. Mm-hmm. And then get it. Like, His whole life, when you looked at it, looked like a bunch of those events. Like you just said, like a bunch of... Yeah. That doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Dre just walking down Brute. the beach, like, yo, I think I got an idea. Let's make some headphones and speakers. <laughs> no, well, he was saying Dre, uh, they were coming to him about doing sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Dre was like, I wear the same fucking sneakers. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a, not the fashion guy. And Which is true. Jimmy Iovine was like, you should do something with sound, speakers. Like, mm. And that's when he was like, got it. You said Jimmy left two days later, <laughs> had him at the office, a bunch of fucking headphones on the table trying shit out. That was that was great. That was just like so inspirational. I liked seeing his wife talk about him locking himself in bathrooms mm-hmm. and other yep. rooms for just the whole day mm-hmm. to talk. And you just leave him alone. Yeah, it's kind of like the family understands. Like, that's what he does. He needs this time. <laughs> this is him working. This is how he works. She, mad, was, a, mad she was a little mama that, that would ride. That's yeah. That's why exactly. That's, though, that's why it's important to have up, a woman that you know what I mean, like stand by you and deal with that type of shit. Because she was living with a maniac, with. not yeah. in the sense of violence, but it was like he was so indulged in his yeah, work. Um, it's like maniacal, how yeah. can you ever have a conversation with him? All he's doing is on the phone, on the phone, like talking like business, business. jobs, type thing. right? And that story, you know, did you hear the um, story about how Foreman grilled and how he ended up with that grill? Mm-mm. I'm about to fuck the whole story up, but it was indefinite ones. 
No, but okay. it's similar to how they ended up with that headphone I was about story. to say, if Jimmy Iovine had anything I, to do with the Foreman grill, my nigga. Out. No, I think George Foreman and Hulk Hogan were managed by the same people. Right? Makes sense. And Hulk Hogan was the superstar, mm-hmm. right? So Hulk Hogan got the call to endorse the uh, grill. Mm-hmm. And, for, and Hulk Hogan was like, I ain't do no fucking cooking, nigga. Get this fucking grill the fuck out of here. Right. So then they called George Foreman and had to con him into it, and the rest is history. That's wild. I wish one of you niggas would call me with some shit like that. And I'd just be like, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> Get a hundred, hundred million billion. Now just call this nigga and answer the phone the whole fucking week. <laughs> he don't know what the fuck I was calling about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas it wasn't phony. a fucking grill. It had some dope <laughs> and if, and let, me be, let me be the first day. If Joe called me like, listen, my nigga, I got this grill for you, this endorsement. <laughs> I'd be like, Joe, get the fuck out of here. I've never turned the grill got on. Got the hottest life. toothbrush. Maul, well, okay, well, since the conversation uh, came up now, I was, I was coming to you because I think that you have a lucrative career in reality television. That's interesting. But why would you think that about me? I'm so like shit. I'm so I'm so I'm so <laughs> private and reserved and the right type laid of back. reality show. Okay, all right. Well, let's modify your thoughts on reality television. I know we're used to the love and hip hop model where you just think right. bullshit right, right, and right. drama and no, no, no. I got no, you. but if if someone, if a creative mind is just sitting there trying to put a show together, mm-hmm. you. <laughs> Golden. Wait, I don't it's know if I golden. like this. I don't know if I like it's this last golden. Though. So I was calling you mm-hmm. to speak to you about uh negotiating to cast you in uh my created show in my brain. I, I secretly <laughs> think you've been trying to cast me in a show in your brain for about <laughs> ten years now. I think you've you've had a Truman show for me in your brain for about ten years now. Yeah. 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 That's but now now I'm in a different position. Pause. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So that might be a billion dollar idea. You're right. Right? That might be. I'm not going to doubt that. I we, think we would have fun with something like that. Yeah, the fact that, yeah. You could grill on camera? No, because this nigga will not, he won't get a girlfriend. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's still going to exist that's, on that's the, the show. That's the show. Maul trying to Maul, yeah, let me just Maul's say this. The single friend. <laughs> let me just say this. Y'all really have a lot of people thinking I'm anti relationship guy. Yeah, my mother. And I'm not anti relationship. <laughs> I never said I was against relationships. I know you've had a secret one at some point that you keep. Referencing. It wasn't secret. It's like the black friend. I've <laughs> <laughs> he references that one really. Hey, yeah. no, come on, Joe. No, be that time because y'all oh, yeah, y'all really have people like yo. Why why you don't get a girl? Why you don't? I was like, what are you talking about? Like I'm never. So looking, answer them. <laughs> I just don't have a girlfriend. I just haven't found a girlfriend. I don't see what the the well, crazy part about that is. Because you're very well traveled, right? Uh, you're very popular. Am I? I don't know if I'm popular. Come on, Maul. I don't know if I'm Do popular. Do we have to look up the word popular? You're Maul, in every rap click. Maul what are you talking about? I'm not in every rap click. amongst popular people. That's what I'm saying. Not to the like the masses. Maul, don't make me tell a bowling alley story, man. Come on, let's just knock it off. What bowling alley story? Oh, you told that one on here already. Yeah, that's my point. Uh, with Ho, right? Yeah. Oh, that don't count. That's Why fa- it don't count? That's family. I don't know, man. If if Ho came He's up, he's Jay Z. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but that's family still. That is, it's not like. Come on. That, By the way, Hov just being your family. <laughs> yeah. No, not, I get, I get that, but that's me. like that. Don't come on, man. Come on. It counts. It's not like it surprised. Did that surprise you? No, but I was tight. <laughs> <laughs> Why was you tight? Why would I not be tired? What the fuck is more tight? See, and this is why we have to take more on reality television. I just don't understand why you would be mad at that at, or tight at that at that moment. Okay, so let's talk about it. We're exiting, right? Right. We're in that bowling alley. You had to get on the elevator to right. leave. That's was why this, I was tight. Uh, was That's this the, Angela Yee's birthday? Uh, nah, that, no, her and no, Kaiser was just Kaiser, going on bowling, yeah, uh, bowling parties. Angela Yee has about three birthdays a year, yeah. and they're all spread out. And we'll never know how old she is because she got that. She's Asian. Because so I met Jay Z and she? Beyonce for the first time at that bowling alley as well. That's why I was asking. Wait, that's funny. <laughs> she's Asian. So how old is she? <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Lil Rick's joke never hurt anybody. Hey, Angela. <laughs> Angela D looked real uncomfortable in that Rick Ross picture, but whatever. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I, we ain't going to talk I about it. I was uncomfortable. Hey, me too. I, I thought he was grabbing. <laughs> I, was saying, I thought he was grabbing I thought me. I thought someone grabbed my neck. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I only see fucking. The, Don't say Rick Ross's boss, name in the mirror three times. The boss is fucking grabbing me. <laughs> For real. The boss is grabbing me. The boss is grabbing me. <laughs> Like it's an air horn. <laughs> that's that's air horn. He was, a, he was applying full court pressure though. Oh, okay. yeah, he was. And then to follow that in the interview and, and say, yeah, I ain't signing no females because I need to fuck. He kept it. He kept it one thousand. Uh, and I, I wasn't mad at him yeah, either. I was only mad when you coupled that with the hug. <laughs> <laughs> and he shouldn't bear hug nobody. I mean, he was trying to you know make sure everything was in in place. He was trying to make sure Angela was doing her Pilates. <laughs> I don't even think Ross is the nigga that bitches want the up close hug from. Shit. He look a little musty. <laughs> Damn, bro. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't. <laughs> Ross, correct? <laughs> That's wild. I'm not gonna say that, but. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Y'all are fucking crazy. What was he talking about? Uh, the bowling alley. Oh, yeah, so fucking. Yeah, you was tight. Only because you needed to get on an elevator to leave, so. If if Hove, if you and Hove are now start having a fucking ten minute conversation, I got to stand there by the elevator with the tight face. You know, me and him got our fucking issues. Worries. You're gonna leave me there by the elevator. Just like, first what of I'm all, do. it wasn't a ten. minute What I'm gonna do? Be on my next tell. It wasn't a like, ten minute. What the fuck is you talking about? It was a three minute conversation. Three was, minutes is mad long, and it was like it's mad long when you standing by the elevator looking <clears throat> dumb in the face. Probably wasn't even Twitter then. I, honestly, honestly, I thought you, I thought you had went on the elevator. I had I known you was just standing there, I kind of would have been like. All Dude. I heard was honestly, I didn't give a fuck about <laughs> where you was at. <laughs> no, for real. That's crazy. I, I didn't know you a, stopped because we were kind of walking even, together. You didn't even look my way. You, and I, I kind of thought like, Joe was just yo, like, yo, you know my, my man's Joe, right? So you didn't even, <laughs> yeah. that. But that's what I'm saying. I didn't. Maul is crazy, man. Maul but that probably wouldn't have been the best best spot to do that at. Maul should have been broke. Maul should have been broke at the peace treaty between me and Old too. There's no. There's that's no, how. That's why I'm saying. I think he made. Peace. I think he rectified. Well, of course there. That's my guy. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that's. I think you rectified that with Tori and Drake. No. I think Before you fixed Joe your mistake. And, yeah, I don't know Tori. I don't know him like that. <laughs> just off guilt trip, he said, "You know what? Let me just get Tori and Drake <laughs> together, man." Because I fucked up. Whole if there's Joe. one nigga that could do it, <laughs> it's Joe. Wouldn't it be more? I, yeah, I was the one that when we first walked in, I I congratulated more for doing such a good job with that. Y'all are fucking crazy. I don't know Tori like that. <laughs> I can't broke. Why you any- keep saying that? Like that means something. That does mean something. <laughs> if I'm going to broker something between him and another person, <laughs> I would have to know him a little bit. Nah, I don't think so. I think you get it done. I seen Brandon Jennings in some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with See, anything? Think Maul won't come to nothing. Oh my Fam, god! I'm fucking someone showed me a picture of Maul, Mac, and Khloe Kardashian laughing it up, exiting <laughs> somewhere, and I was like, all right, man, I really don't know Maul like that. <laughs> like I get Hanging with party next door Yeah Fine Why the fuck you and Mac <laughs> It's just the three of y'all No it was, it was He put arms there, around Tristan her and shit there. Yeah That was a fun night Leaving the Jardin We had fun that night Chloe is hood on the low man She like to do shit like Just go to I don't the think spots, I don't even like, think it's on the low Yeah I'll be looking at her like What the fuck We was in uh, What was he at Lust And Chloe was in there in Brooklyn Oh that's when she was with French Was that was with, with me and you or was I with someone else? No, that was me, but I didn't look up that way. They were at the table you across told from me, us. Yeah. And I think I was I'm like, just like, I think uh, that's uh, Chloe and French. <laughs> yeah, but that's Maul really keep hard. trying to say Chloe's a friend of the show. She is a friend of the show. I mean, if she's a friend of Maul, she's a friend of the show. She'll be a friend yeah. of the show. Fine. I'm supposed to be interviewing her sister soon. Which one? Can't say. She's what? a friend of the show. There's only a few of them, right? It's mad of them. Well, that would want to do it. Anyway. And I still, I still look at the Scott Disick nigga like he's a sister too. I fuck with Scott, just from all the clips I've seen. Of him being not even, I hate him. He's not even related. I, I hate him. Are you kidding me? Them he's in, the, he's in the Floyd. Funny. He's in, no, no. I don't hate him. I love him. But what I'm saying is, he's in that Floyd. He can't follow him on, his, no on social media. Way. Oh, I don't follow him on anything. Just the clips. But I followed him at some funny. point, and then I had to unfollow. <laughs> that proved everybody got a little bit of hate in him. You think Scott does, or you're saying you? Me, nigga. Oh, yeah. No, he's saying. Well, no, we know you got mad. I unfollowed that nigga so fast. 
the fucking nigga with this good hair dress nice all the damn time get, get, with you, his, with get his you a pick, trust fund pick of the litter of cars and houses <laughs> pick, of, pick of the litter <laughs> that's how you know you hating <laughs> you, start, <laughs> you start using old phrases pick of the litter yeah. pick of the smack litter. at everything he dreams of <laughs> this guy's never <laughs> dreams of this guy's never had a bad day <laughs> at, at all everything is heart desires for real I might unfollow Flo Rod on that same shit he another one <laughs> Flow Rider got bread. What's up with Flow Rider? I'm sure he got a hit out that we just don't know, but it's number one. Flow Rider keep a song I don't know that's the biggest song in the world. I know, but I don't know if that's still applicable. I'm sure it is. Nobody's checked. Him and Pitbull. And he got enough money, so we'll never know. Yeah. Who made that transition? Pitbull got to take that suit off. <laughs> He's never. <laughs> listen, <laughs> let me explain something to you niggas. Pitbull is never going to take that suit off at all. If he, I remember when Pitbull used to wear like he was hip hop. He used to rap. remember when he yeah. rapped. He used yeah. to rap. He was a rapper. Dog. Ever since he put that suit on and he seen that 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 check that suit check, he's like, no no no, no 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 no, I'm never going back to hip hop. Was doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Pitbull said, "I'm never going back to hip hop. You niggas can have that. Fuck, give I'm me the white good. pants." Ever since he did that New Year's uh, New Year's Eve party with uh, Dick Clark pause. <laughs> And he, he's like, listen, man, the suit stays on. He wear that suit everywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, let me take my ass over to Burlington Coat Factory give me a suit. For real. <laughs> you better go get one. <laughs> Do niggas still go to Burlington Coat Factory? No, man. Niggas don't go to Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> you might. That was young shit. When it was time to go back to school, you had to get your good jacket. But good do coat. they still exist? They probably It might do. be a few. It might be a few. Y'all niggas Hollywood on a low. No, I don't, you don't, I don't see them anymore like that. But so I don't think so that they build shut one. down. A Burlington? So let's build one, no? No. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not building a Burlington. That, that was the call that you wanted to. <laughs> Yo, Mo, remember Burlington Co. Factory? Got about three properties ready. What did you wear to the prom? Uh, our prom got canceled because somebody uh, somebody <laughs> stole the teacher's uh, lap, uh, computer with all the final grades. So they Was they, it Armani? I don't know who it was. I, I still don't know who it was, but they they, they took the entire <laughs> computer, so we couldn't get our final grades. First like, well, what year was this? Well, how had, big was the computer? He, he never had a this, girlfriend or a prom. <laughs> no, I went, to, I went to proms. I went to proms. I went to proms. That's what I'm us, asking. But it wasn't for so my this prom. Is, oh, I don't care about this that. This is deep-rooted from childhood. You yeah, know, I went problem. to proms, but Normally it wasn't it my prom. it is deep-rooted from childhood. <laughs> no, it wasn't my prom, like my year. And like, we don't know much about most childhood. What you mean? Let's see. You know about my childhood. I mean, nah, I would see, see. Well, I've never pried to. That's my point. We don't know what happened. It's not that in interesting. Childhood. Actually, I, I don't know. High school was cool. I, I would, a, I would I imagine Jay Z being your family. Your childhood was the probably therapist. Different than the most. therapist says when you start at high school or a later point in your life, then you're subconsciously suppressing things that you don't want to remember. No, I'm just saying it. I don't think it's nothing. Therapists are great. <laughs> <laughs> Therapists are full of shit. Like who's therapy? Who's therapying the therapist? Oh my though, god! Though definitely when uh, I did the it's the real shit and you know like dig into your life, I really wanted to start at college. I was like, we don't really need to talk about my See? childhood. Like we could just start at college. Oh, that's what I did in LA. I did the therapist. How was that? When does that air? I don't know. They was probably mad at me for who, posting the picture. Who? Who? Who shows that? On Vice. It's the shit that okay. Prodigy did like before he passed. Oh, okay, okay, got you, got you, got Vice, you. Vice, the boy had to do. I'm he's, supposed he's to do the it's the real with uh with the, with um Jeff and uh Eric, I think. It's a good podcast this week. Yeah, they're, they're good. Chief yeah. Keith is doing uh, the therapist too. I can't wait to see that shit. We'll learn about Maul's past there. They tell it. They talk about everybody's past. Yeah. I learned way too much about the desk on that yeah, podcast. He, he told. <laughs> yeah, he told me straight up. He was like, "Yo, I, I just want to know everything." I was like, "So I learned a lot so? about myself after that fucking interview." They dig into your life. I'm gonna have fun with that podcast. Though. They're just good though. They're good interviews. They're, they're good at what they do. Um, you had said something just now. Uh, I have no idea. What was we talking about before Maul said he was doing this interview? Chloe Kardashian. No, we were not. <laughs> <laughs> it was something I thought was important too. Oh uh, well, I don't know whatever. Anyways, what else is on here? I don't know. Y'all don't care. I went to therapy. <laughs> I feel like you're always going to therapy. Like, Can I That's tell right. you a funny story? I, I tried no. to start a conversation. No, listen, we need to have y'all a, went to the therapist, no. y'all. Oh, I'm all just get. No. Oh yeah, what's what channel's that on? Oh okay. No, because I forgot you no, went to go do that. But uh, the funniest, I always, I got a thousand funny stories about Joe. But the, this is one of the funniest. So, come downstairs one day. Every story starts like that. Joe was in the living room talking to some guy. I don't know who this guy is. I just know that he came in in Brooklyn, tried to kill him. Right. So they're talking. So you know, I'm just trying to see what's going on. I'm trying to remember what story. Come, come to find out, it's it's a it's, it was a guy who does hypnosis. Oh my god, he does hypnosis. No! Right? <laughs> Wait, was this? 
<laughs> you was have to let Joe me. Was, was this when Joe was high? <laughs> Dope. Just listen. Let me. <laughs> Get all the air horns out the way because this story is fucking hilarious. Uh, my mom, man. <laughs> Your mom, man, nothing. Listen. I just throw my mom under the bus. <laughs> Listen. So I'm standing there. I'm like, okay. So he's talking to Joe like, you know, do you want to stop smoking cigarettes? Do you want to quit? Do you? Joe's like, yeah, man. You know, I think I'm done, man. I, I'm, I'm just trying to kick this. So we're supposed to go. We're, we're on our way to the city, right? So, <laughs> so I'm sitting there looking at this whole engagement happen. Mm. So the dude tells Joe, stand up. So I'm like, oh, yes. yes. If he's going to hypnotize Joe in front of me, this is going to be the greatest day ever. Right? So Joe stands up. Now, Joe want to laugh. Just because I'm looking at Joe, he's looking. He trying to look the dude in his face without laughing. I'm like, this is never going to work. Were you laying down comfortable? No, I was sitting at the table. Fuck up, Rory. I'm sitting at the table. So he's talking. He's talking. He tells Joe to close his eyes. <laughs> Joe still got the smirk on it because Joe know this yeah. is not gonna fucking work, <laughs> not gonna right? Me. So, <laughs> how, many, so, how many therapists I see? So, <laughs> what are you doing? So, so Joe closes his eyes, and the dude grabs Joe. Right? It's like a quick, like, like <laughs> grab him up, like, him up, like come here, like, like Rick Ross, yeah, like he, <laughs> like the, like the boss, yeah, was hugging me. So he had him like in a beer hole, right? So Joe still got his eyes closed or whatever. The dude is talking to him. That part is over. So the dude was like, <laughs> "No, I want to know what the part was." <laughs> him just him no, just, hold, him just no. holding Joe, squeezing him, and talking to him in his ear about <laughs> what was he whispering? Oh, more Jesus! He, I don't remember because I was laughing so under my breath. Trey, yep. I think Trey could give no, me don't twenty deflect. minutes. Of hits. Yeah, no, he ain't no. Listen, we're gonna let deflect. him get all that out. <laughs> So we get in the car, right? So he, for, no, no. First he says, "So how do you feel?" Joe's like, <laughs> "So Joe's like, I feel good, right?" So I'm like, the blood is probably rushing back to his head now after being squeezed like that. So he's probably like, "Okay, I'm feeling all right." Dog, we get in the car. Like I see. kid you not, we didn't get 200 feet from the crib. This nigga sparks a cigarette. I said, Joe, how much did you pay that nigga? So I don't buy like $300. Nigga, give me that 300 next time. And I'm going to do exactly what he did. Dog, I'm going to do exactly what he did. I said, yo, we not even off the block from the. We, we can still see the house. He's like, man, fuck that bullshit, man. I'm like, okay. I wasn't hypnotized. Wait, how long? We know. How long did this last this exchange for three hundred dollars? Ten minutes, fifteen minutes. It was the quickest three hundred I ever seen. I said, "Dog, no, I'm in the wrong business." I where, said, where "Yo, niggas is getting paid where did to hug niggas guy? tight." Like, you met him in Nork on the I'm side of the street. Every nigga in Jersey for three hundred dollars a piece. <laughs> niggas is getting a bag for hugging niggas talking about listen you're gonna give up cigarettes alright you're not gonna shit. go back to the cigarettes gonna, this is a new day a new beginning I will do that up and down fucking Bergen line all day I will grab every nigga on Bergen line for $300 and he was, are you kidding me for 10 minutes holy shit man that was the quickest 300 I ever seen Laws we could have went to the casino with that that three hundred. <laughs> <Holy laughs> shit! Where was we going? To La Marina too? Some like somewhere nice. where you definitely wanted to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, the store for for another pack. Dog, that was the funniest shit ever. I said, only Joe, man. Only, only Joe. times niggas have dragged me to fucking La Marina. It's like Jesus, why? Like I don't even like that we was on our way there after that story. Right. <laughs> Maul Ma- Ma- give you a hug and whisper, "Don't go to La Marina anymore." Word <laughs> for the three hundred. The fuck up, Rory. Rory be hugging him like that. Any palooza? <laughs> That's what I mean. Drink more Hennessy. Drink more. Buy another fifty dollars ticket. Yeah, fuck out of here. Buy a t shirt. Oh, damn. What was I about to say? Uh, yo, did y'all see? Um, did y'all see? Uh, damn, we ain't done this in a while. Girls Trip. No, I haven't seen it yet. No, y'all should see it. Well, I heard it was funny. Come on, guys. Shut up. <laughs> I don't need a girl to go see Girl Trip. <laughs> tell me. T- all right, wait. Tell me you about to go go walk up. To- Yo, let me go. Let me get one. Me no, get y'all one. know I don't do the movies one. by let me, myself. Let me get one, one for Girl Trip. <laughs> nah, y'all know I don't do the movies no. by myself. <laughs> no, they're 1115. <laughs> <laughs> nah. A matinee. A matinee. Yeah, you know I'm all seeing a matinee. Nah. <laughs> I've seen matinees not by myself, though. Matinees is dope. I know you the only nigga think going to the movies by yourself is weird. That's weird as fuck. I know. We're not having that debate that right now. That's weird as But fuck. Girl Trip is really good. Y'all should go see that movie. That, oh, Tiffany, watch, that uh, Tiffany Girl Stole the Show. Y'all watch Insecure? Hell yeah. I have not seen it yet. Oh, you got to catch Hell up. Yeah. And let me I'm, just say, I'm, I'm putting this out there now. A, guy call, a girl calling a guy a fuck nigga is the funniest shit in the world to me. <laughs> it's a, just a funny. What? Calling, a girl calling a guy? A fuck nigga. Why? That's just funny to me. 
I'm sorry. It's just hilarious. Like I think because it's first of all, it's like women didn't have a lot of terms that they can use to like degrade us. Like it wasn't a lot of women things that a woman can say. Like you know, what I mean, you got a little, you dick. Got a little dick. It was kind of like a little dick, and that was it. It was kind of like he hit me. Yeah, yeah. That, you know what I'm saying. But it wasn't favor. like it wasn't like a word you can call a, a guy where women just felt like yeah, we just dissed him. Yeah. And the funny shit is, we guys made up the term "fuck nigga." Like it started out something different. Like well, women also say "suck my dick" now. So. Yeah, but that's <laughs> come on. That's you, a woman say that's kind of like oh, you bugging out. <laughs> but but a, a woman calling a guy a fuck nigga is hilarious, man. That is hilarious. She bodied that. What I will too. say this is whoever the creator of the terms are for the genders, I do think that whoever the woman creator is shortchanged them. Because mm-hmm. all they came up with was your dick is little. Mm-hmm. There's like two more, but yeah, he, they don't even he work. He hit me does the most damage. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, it's over. Like they need more. Like even the Fuck ones that they is have hilarious. is stupid. Like once a cheater, always a cheater. That's just not true. Well, well, y'all, the, it's I stupid. Words just, over if you, you say can that, tell John. <laughs> if you, if you say that, you're just really stupid. Did you talk to a therapist about this? <laughs> Joe definitely dug in his bag for that. Man, once a cheater, oh, like, come on, it's not true. Like, <laughs> I cheated once. That was it. I you know, didn't cheat after. There's that. certain lines that women say that are just the dumbest things that you could fucking possibly hear. Right. That's all. They got a few. Fuck nigga is hilarious. I'll take that over you key in my car. Or what does fuck nigga mean? If a girl says it. It's just funny. I don't care what it means. A fuck nigga is funny. <laughs> you a fuck nigga. <laughs> I would laugh if a girl called me a fuck nigga. Like that's actually I think a girl has called me that before. And I laughed. I one hundred percent have been called a fuck nigga. I have I laughed, man. That shit is hilarious. You a fuck nigga. What? <laughs> 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 I pulled off. <laughs> well, what did that mean? Oh, you a fuck nigga? That is some funny shit, man. What did that, what did that girl just say? A oh, fuck nigga. <laughs> that is pretty funny though. Uh, well, yeah, that show's great. You also check out Insecure. Yeah, I do. I watch Insecure. Um, every what's that Sundays, right? Yeah, Sundays like ten thirty or some shit like that. I'm catching it because it don't come out uh, in full, right? It's a weekly thing. Yeah, it's a weekly thing. Yeah. That's why I'm not it's watching it. It's on uh, episode three. Yeah, I'm and waiting. season two right after Ballers. Out. So I watched Ballers and then that. See, I caught uh, Insecure last year after it aired, so I saw and all of it together. Yeah. yeah, I'm not doing that. Fuck y'all. I see all the conversations, though. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this uh, Sinead O'Connor, man. And I think this is a topic that we could talk about because it's something that Joe has been publicly you know, speaking on for a lot of years. This is happening. This is real time. Yeah, you got an aux cord because I kind of want to play. Yeah, so I'm going to play a clip of the video of Sinead O'Connor. She posted this on her Facebook about an hour ago. What did we do? The people who suffer from mental illness are the most vulnerable people on earth. We can't take care of ourselves. And every day I've spent for two years that my entire life is revolving around just not dying. And that's not living. Two years. Solitary confinement is enough. Please, will somebody in my bloody family act like you give a shit. I'm now living in a travel lounge motel in the end of New Jersey. What part of New Jersey? I'm a kidney stone. I'm all by myself, and there's absolutely nobody in my life except my doctor, my psychiatrist, <laughs> the sweetest man on earth who says I'm his hero. And that's about the only it's not the clearest of the audio. Is and that's kind of pathetic. This is Facebook Live. Then mental illness, you know, it's a bit like drugs. Mm-hmm. It doesn't give a who you are. And equally, why are we alone? So she's she's basically saying she's been suffering from a post-traumatic stress disorder and depression for years. It, she was in the, in 2003. They diagnosed her as being bipolar. And they they went back and said they were. I was about to say, if you're familiar with Sinead O'Connor, <clears throat> Sinead O'Connor is. Uh, I'm familiar with her from Nothing Compares to You, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Um, that, I think that was her biggest hit. She all she had a few records after that, but then Prince remade that record. That was where fame kind of came from. But mm-hmm. her story is this: um, she's battled this for quite some time. Oh, you were reporting. You were telling us. You were just yeah. They've diagnosed her. This is believable. This is commendable. Did she say where she was in New Jersey? She just said the ass end of New Jersey. So that's probably like on the turnpike somewhere. 
I should look up where all, how <clears> many, but they, they, they're updating how many travel Ash. lodges could there be in New Jersey? I would Probably drive a lot. Out. <laughs> yeah. I would drive to her. Yeah, she's on. Um, they're saying she's safe now, though. Like, yes, I'm reading right now. It's safe, not suicidal. <clears throat> after posting troubling video online. I mean, oh. hopefully I'm pretty somebody sure somebody saw that her, and yeah. went right there. Like, what, like, let's go get her right now. But it's just, I mean, you just never know, man. You know what I mean? You never know what some people are battling and, <clears throat> and what they're going through mentally. And that's why, you know, you never know when you come into people, just try to just, you know, just ask about their day. Like, a, a girl told me something that I thought was crazy the other day. She said, nobody ever asked me how I'm doing or if I ate. And I kind of looked at her like, what you mean? But she was just saying, like, nobody ever just asked me that. and But I'm always the one asking people that. You never know what someone is either about to go through, <clears throat> what they are going through, or what they are exiting. Mm. Very true. You never know. People don't don't really divulge certain certain things mm-hmm. to to other people. This is commendable because when you're feeling like you're only living to avoid dying, yeah, that's, that's normally when you do it. Mm-hmm. You normally are at a level, uh, such a place of despair that you don't even have the strength to do that. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm saying that's commendable. Thank God that that's. Somebody addressed that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't need that. Maybe this was one instance where social media was good right. for someone that's mentally ill. Maybe she just needed to get that out and be heard. Mm-hmm. Well, social media is good if, you, if you're if you good. Yeah. If but you use it the right way. Yeah. A lot of times the mentally ill are, are not at the moment, so they can take things that are said on social media much harsher than Yeah, people attack and not. say d- dumb shit. Yeah. That's true. So, I mean, I would, yeah. Social media probably hasn't been the best for mentally ill people, but in this well, let's instance, just continue. It was good to just pray for Sinead, out. man. Pray for Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, let's keep her in our prayers, and hopefully, we don't have to report any more on this story in the right. following weeks. Um, we we ain't talk about Meek's album at all. Uh, we briefly touched on it at the live at the show. live podcast. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I do like too. It. I think uh, Meek definitely sounds more mature. More, we did talk about this, didn't we? Last episode, not on the live show. Yeah, we know. spoke about it. Well, maybe we did. I don't yeah. fucking know. I don't know. Well, don't me, but we had more time to live with yeah. it. Yeah, he uh, certainly sounds more mature, more sure of how he wants to be perceived and what he gives to his fans and to the public. I think. Mm-hmm. I think he's much more level headed. I think he's learned a lot from his mistakes. I'm, I'm waiting for him and Drake. I think him and Drake both learned a lot yeah. to kind of make up and move past it. You swear Drake gonna make up with everybody. Because Drake is a good guy, naturally. He's just a, a good hearted person. He's also a good businessman. Yeah. And I think that he understands that him and Meek, I mean, they made a dope record together. They, they, they I, made I a think, few dope records. Yeah, it's like, dog, why not? We got us over. We went through that. If, listen, if Jay and Nas can get past it. Well, we old enough that we've seen some reconciliation that we never thought we would see. Yeah, so you just. I don't kinda, know if Drake and Meek is on. That that no, I'm not saying on Jay. No, 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 no. That's, that's much not, more believable. Yeah, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if Jay and Nas can make, Nas I think anybody can make up. No, I think oh, Drake and Meek yeah, happening okay. is much more believable. <laughs> I was like, Connor's on Jay the baby and seat. Was, Jay and was Nas way worse than was, uh, anything that was said on back to back. That was a rumor for like a lot of years. Mm-hmm. And then they came with what Black Republican. Mm-hmm. Nah. Success was great though. Success was great. But no, we pretend Black Republican didn't. Happen. <laughs> Niggas tried to kill Nas. <laughs> what you mean? When that came out, Black Republican or success? Black Republican, because it was a Nas record. Yeah. Niggas were like, damn, we should let Jay did that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then Jay does success. <laughs> Listen, man, and Black Republican. But Black takes, Republican was hard though. It's not on a the bad. Re- it takes this like is how they set it up. It's like two minutes before but they, they start. But rapping. they played off the uh, the suspense of years of thinking this would never happen. If we was in the studio, we would have said the same thing. Do you think uh, since Nas and just how the years were working that Nas was due up for an album before Jay then, you think Jay kind of let that go? Like, because we know Black Republican could have been better and we know how strategic Jay is. Yeah, I think we're talking about Black Republican after the fact. Oh, even when I bought Hip Hop Is Dead, the first record I went to was that and I didn't particularly love it. I like that beat a lot, but I don't think that says much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that beat was dope. I like that beat. Mm-hmm. Jay didn't have to wait 45 minutes to start rapping on Black Republican. No. 
Like, fam, we get it. <laughs> the beat wasn't that hard. <laughs> That's how I felt waiting by the elevator for more. <laughs> Here we go. What? Here we go. You ever wait for a slow elevator? <laughs> Here we go. I love the complex elevators because it's they fancy. So you you press a button and it tells you what elevator to go to, and oh, that's, yes, the you're the only one that could use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that shit. Yeah. I love the door. I, I like buildings door closing like that. on white people. There's <laughs> nothing <laughs> they can do about it. They're not even mad. At I like nothing. the elevators that give you the weather inside. You know, the little TVs. You can catch I like the that news too. on the way down. Let me tell you something. I called the motherfucking. I was going to uh, uh, Uber. Shit today. The Uber guy asked me who it's for. <laughs> they always ask that. No, the fuck they didn't. They have never asked me, let me access your uh, contacts. Who is this Uber for? Is it for you? How many passengers? Oh, you're saying before you got and the then they And then they got the number to that person. That's never happened to me calling an Uber. I thought you meant when you got in the car. No, 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 no. I mean, calling an Uber. If oh, you they, call an they, Uber they right... They're tired of fucking waiting on people. That was pretty <laughs> snazzy. I like person. that. Yeah, they made a few changes, though. But, I mean, that was just like an obvious fucking change where it's like, fam... I'm not at the building that <laughs> I'm, I'm not there. Someone else is getting in. Stop right. calling my phone. The next obvious change is of uh, settings where you can say don't speak to me. <laughs> don't speak to me. If it doesn't have to do with, option. with us getting to the destination. I, don't know if I, I like speaking to the Uber drivers. I don't. I like to more. know who the fuck is driving me. Who is this dude? Nigga, look at your, look look at your phone. <laughs> my life is in his hands right now. Like, what, nigga, but you small right talk is going to make L- Listen, you I right? If not, you can pull over. Yo, I'll is, get out. Maul is such a Bronx nigga, man. What you mean? You got to ask, man. These niggas, any nigga can drive an Uber. They don't do background checks on these niggas. Them niggas can't drive for shit. I got an Uber one day. The nigga had the seat all the way back. Well, the, His seat, a, like all the way to the back seat. When you, were, when you were in the Bronx. I'm like, dog, hold up. You First of all, <laughs> fam, pull this seat up, number one. I need you to see the road. Why don't you just get in on the other side? Nah. Pull your seat up, fam. He looked fitted on. About to get out this Uber sofa. We about to bust a sale. This nigga was. Profile. You know who the real sociopath? He, he was mad. He was the taking the custody. <laughs> he, about to bu- <laughs> he about to go bust a sale. He was like, hold on, man. We, me, and you can't go to the same place. <laughs> I'm getting out. Yeah. Like, get, the, get in the front seat. <laughs> Pull, Pull, so this looks Pull over. I started to get in the passenger seat. <laughs> the way he had his seat back, my mom was going to ride with you up there. That's funny. He gonna make some stops, and you, this ain't Uber Pool, right? I hate Uber Pool, by the way. <laughs> Have you ever Uber pulled? Yeah, I had before too. I did one y'all time. Y'all Uber pulled? I did not one time. Oh, one one time and never. There's did it a again. wild surge. I gotta stop putting pool. y'all in this prestigious Listen, class in my. No, no, no. Head. I did it one time <laughs> and never did it again. Never did it again. I was like, no, no, no. We can't do. They it. got this shit in uh, the city via. It's five dollars anywhere, but yeah. it's a pool for everything. Yeah. This shit is great. But something like that, when you're just going from here to that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Seven blocks over, like from the like, studio, man. Yeah. Get an Uber pool. Yeah. I'm never getting an Uber and we're picking, <laughs> and we're picking someone else no, up. You, no. I know y'all are Actually, having. What the fuck are y'all even talking about having content. this conversation? Listen, like, I was about to say my brand. That would be great. That would be great that. TV. Joe in an Uber pool. <laughs> Joe Button Uber pools. That would be great fucking TV. You're kidding me. You you random people getting in the cab with you. You're you're for, you're bugging if you don't see the genius in that. You're crazy if you don't see that. Excuse me, sir. You come in here with this, <laughs> and then playing truth or truth. I would watch that, <laughs> Joe. I would watch that. I would watch that, and I think a lot of other people would watch that. I'm never getting in an Uber, and we're stopping somewhere <laughs> to pick up for TV. Someone else that's not along the way for hey, TV. Pardon me, Duke. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> pardon, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Said nothing about a right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, who's, put, to, who's Kathy? Will have to wait. Put that a few on TV. Extra seconds. Put that on TV. <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? That is dope. That people no, want to see man. that. And then you know what else is funny about Uber Pool? This shit only ever shave off a good six dollars from regular Uber. And then you it ain't never like no dramatic shit. change in yeah. Uber Pool. It depends, it depends on what time depends, though. Yeah. Hey, check this out, fam. Hey, for the extra six, <laughs> <laughs> I'll ride by myself. I'll take the whole back seat. Yeah, that's a fact. Same thing I tell fucking uh, Jesus, man. Uber's great. Uh, I think we covered everything. What else? Do we care about fifty and, and Gab Union going back and forth? I don't. Mm, that was just fifty yeah, and fifty. Yeah, I don't. Irv and fifty are going back and forth again. Quick, pick your next two for defiant ones. <laughs> they should stop. Uh, Russell Simmons and. Uh, Rick Rubin? And Rick Rubin, yeah. Jay and Dame. Listen, I respect Jay and Dame, but Dame, you know how it went with both of them? Mm-hmm. 
and its music more, Dame's kind of ends after Rockefeller because he went in a different direction. I think no, we're it didn't end. I mean, this is all you heard about. He didn't end. Dame is still active out here. No, no, no. I said the music. Oh, Dame oh, has music. been very vocal about saying, I no longer want to do music. I wanted to do Rachel Roy. I wanted to do all this other shit. I just think it ends with music and Jay's doesn't. So it's tough. And I think Rick and Russell, I don't think you can do Jay and Dame before you get Rick and Russell. No, I'm just saying, for, I, yeah. I, that, that's two I would want to see. Jay and Dame would be a good 30 for 30. Mm-hmm. That would like be an to, amazing 30 like for 30. I'd like to look into that one. <laughs> Listen, I think we need 30 for 30 hip hop editions. Hell yeah. It's too that many stories. Great. It's too many stories that need to be told. Well, no, so we had the, we had the beef DVDs. Idea. We get more too many great ideas. We had I beef got a, DVDs. I got an idea man. for that. For what? For that type of show. We'll talk off air. Yeah, that's a good idea. We got to stop doing that on the show. <laughs> Give me your ideas. <laughs> this is just do mad shit on the show. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think because I'm sure it's something that we're forgetting. It's something coming up. <laughs> I don't know. Henny Palooza. So, you know, these niggas are somewhere. I'm so sick of these niggas. We're in Houston next week. I bet y'all are. <laughs> they go to Houston nine times. Yeah. Every one of their girlfriends should be in Houston. I got to see what's going on in Houston, man. I hit that market a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about going to Houston, yeah. too. I might have to go to that one. It's a good time. And yeah. then Rory always, I got to talk to these. Rory always gas it. Oh, our favorite place in the world. We're returning. They be talking I, about them like they so, somebody with a we are returning. <laughs> Who the fuck is we are? We are hey, returning is hilarious. Man, this is the fuck up. Them HP boys. We, in the we, HP boys <laughs> with a Z. <laughs> Better respect it. Come on, Joe. Do we have sleepers? <laughs> Do we have sleepers? That's all I want to know, man. I'm not doing this with you today, man. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you, man. Do we have are sleepers? they the HP boys? They are. Definitely going to throw it on a flyer. For sure. The party. HP boys. I've been told they got to get that Henny shit out of there anyway. The HP boys. The HP boys. Then what's Ravy? <laughs> uh, HP girl? I'm going to say HP girl. The shooter. Ooh, that's yeah, I'm, see, I'm giving y'all this shit. I'm giving you this for free, man. See, you you my man. See why I called you the other day? <laughs> <laughs> we could have a foreman girl yeah. by now. Yeah, this nigga went into the fucking man. phone, man. What the hell's going on? That. I'm gonna give you that. Oh, uh, speaking of documentaries, they're doing another Biggie documentary. Another one uh, on uh, <laughs> on A and E. The the life and times of yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> all right, Big. <laughs> yeah, I think, listen, but listen. I don't know I, how many times. <laughs> But this one is I don't I don't know if uh, it's it's a spin it's a difference to this one though I think because Jay and Nas are in it yeah I think they they're doing it with um I think just rappers or something. Rory's white so I'm not, I'm not sure how they doing get it get me to make Biggie jokes yeah Fuck no you. I just hope this money's Biggie. going to the Wallace family they do a different Biggie movie doc every other month where else would it go <laughs> did TLC put that album out <laughs> <laughs> TLC was putting out an album come on Wait, we go through we this every time episode. every time we say that uh, you say that I just want to know if they put it out I ain't see it on the breakfast club and that's the only time I know if your album is coming out <laughs> yeah no I didn't see it I didn't, see, I didn't even know shit. if you had a breakfast club interview you <laughs> y'all made out type for real cause I don't be one I turn mad interviews down the complex <laughs> All of them niggas. Yeah, you want something? Nope. <laughs> what about? Nope. Um, sleepers. We had sleepers? Uh, yeah. What are y'all doing for Labor Day? That's coming up, isn't it? What you doing for your birthday? Isn't that coming up too? I don't think I'm doing shit. I hope not to be doing anything. It's a big 4-0 though. You're not doing nothing for your 40th? No, Roy. 4 <laughs> You should be happy about your age. You know, it's funny. We're not sponsored by me undies, no. But I want, I want, I want some. <laughs> Sin keep wearing mine. I ain't seen mine in ages. I never got no undies. Pause. Because Rory got all undies. I have a pause. Rory loves me undie pants. N- Rory got all the undies. I wore my undies pants on the plane to San Francisco, and it was the best decision I made. That's just nasty. <laughs> that is creepy, even though They're I- pants. <laughs> Are they really though? Yes. Uh, lots exposed in me undies. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, be confused when Sin wear them, want to wear them outside and shit. Nigga, <laughs> show ass in his house. Uh, all right, so we doing sleepers? Yeah, I got a fun out of my list. And my birthday is back again. That's great. That's what happens. Time Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. What did we do last year? Uh, yeah, the party. Party at the, party the crib. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. I'm definitely not having a party to crew this year. <laughs> and I don't want to f- wear a suit in August again. So. Yeah, I'm not definitely not happening. <laughs> That's not happening. Sorry. I'm we got sleepers? Oh, wait a minute. Come on, Maul. With the uh, Brandon Jennings news, we got to read about China. Oh, Anything? yeah. Nothing? Yeah, man. Congrats to B, man. He going overseas uh, for a year. Signed a one-year deal over in China. 
For, I think it'll be great for him, man. For $300 million or some wild shit. You know how they give him back. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Man. Why? I mean, makes, but why? He, the money. He no, There's no, no money left this year. Everybody, he did that. Derrick Rose is making $2 million. He averaged 18 a game last season. Well, he, doesn't, he only has one knee. He also went home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but still, but, yeah, but still, before a game, game. Yeah, before, but, yeah, before but, a home game, yeah, but still, he averaged eighteen, and he's only making two minutes. Like, is there's no money available? Yeah, Mo, you look so funny, man. One minute you talk about JJ Reddick's contract, now you yeah. want to tell me about Derrick Rose. Th- that's my point. JJ Reddick is making twenty three this year. Derrick Jennings Rose is making two. Got that money in the NBA. He could have got it, but it's it's more money overseas, right? For thirty eight games, it's, it's not even eighty two. Oh, he he comes back in oh, March. And he could sign with a playoff team. Oh, <laughs> why wouldn't you go? Oh, that's a cheat. 38 goal. games. See, that's like when I left rap to do media. <laughs> it's like, why wouldn't you do it? Why why not, man? Uh, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great decision. Or talk yeah. about y'all rapping. Yeah. <laughs> no, you have to rhyme. You the choice. Yeah, you no, know, you can just say shit. It ain't even gotta be true. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just, to be true. <laughs> and make more. Yeah, easy choice there. Man, listen. All right, you, you convinced me more. I'm yeah. rolling. I'm rolling come, with come score the ball and throw the throw passes behind your back. I couldn't wait to come talk to fucking uh Mall to find out why Brandon did that. Yeah. yeah right, I mean, when money, I read that, you've made money. some sense of it. The for money, me. 38 games, half a season. Also, you come back. 38 games I'm, like high school. Also, exactly. I'm going to lay up off my Knicks. I'm going to defend my Knicks here. I received some information about why they passed up on Dennis Smith Jr. I think if I'm them, I do the same thing. Why did they pass? I'm hearing that they asked for Dennis Smith medical reports and they were told no. <laughs> they could not get them. Hmm. And then I'm passing. That's yeah. Good. I mean, if that yeah. Who do you reach out to? There, his agent for those. Yeah, and they they wouldn't disclose him. Boy, mm. look healthy to me. I was gonna say he didn't in college. He didn't look mm. like he was hurt. He, he looked like he got all the bounce in the world <laughs> now. But long term, if that happened, sorry, can't can't. I don't care if he go kill in Dallas for three, four, five years. Even you know what I think of in this conversation? Uh, more our our infamous Mike Conley. Mike Conley tracking of his career because you hated that pick mm-hmm. when he got picked mm-hmm. and then we eventually loved Mike Conley I'm hoping that this Frank kid could turn into a poor man's dad a poor man's Mike Conley yeah I've never seen any I ain't seen him play I ain't seen any footage I mean he can play I don't think he'll be ready for another two years to really mm-hmm. make an impact Maybe three. So yeah. let's hope Ramon but Sessions can get us to the promised about, land. You said this about Porzingis, though, and we were all wrong. So yeah. No, I didn't say that about Porzingis. And you thought I, he was going to be impactful rookie year? No. I certainly didn't. But, but they kept calling him a project. Yeah. And I didn't know if he was a three, two, three-year project. I didn't think he would be that impactful. But it was all So imagine this, right, because I keep thanking my lucky stars that the Lakers took D'Angelo Russell. Because imagine if the Lakers took Porzingis and then they grabbed, what's that, Brandon Ingram? Mm -hmm. And then they grabbed Lonzo Ball. Mm -hmm. And then they built around that. That's a squad. That's and I like game. D'Angelo Russell, man. So I think he's going to have a great season. You ain't come around on Lonzo Ball yet. No, I, that's the thing. I, I His never vision said, is different. No, I never said I didn't like Lonzo. I didn't, I just don't think that he should have been our pick. But I do understand. The Lakers wanted the press conference, the media around it. I get it. It's business. Oh, his vision he's, is he's different. Bu- he's his built vi- for Los Angeles. His vision is different, and they said D'Angelo Russell's vision was different. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. I, I didn't see the big difference in D'Angelo Russell and Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is going to impact quicker. D'Angelo Russell probably going to come it's, into it it's, now. It's the media. It's the attention around Lonzo. I get it. He can play. I never said he couldn't play. And he play. looks poised, and he's not going to Snapchat and tell your girlfriend that you've been cheating. We don't know that yet. But we know Lonzo Ball is not doing that. The nigga barely spoke. Yeah. Nigga father acted a fool everywhere, and he barely said a word. We were shocked to hear him say something. We know he ain't snitching on his yeah, teammates. Yeah, but D'Angelo Russell was a, a, a quiet kid coming out. He wasn't. He didn't have a lot of circus around him and stuff like that. But I, I mean, listen, I we still we still a couple pieces away. We we a couple pieces away. But I do like Lonzo Ball. I just don't. I would have went with Dennis Smith only because he's like a hybrid point guard. He's athletic. He's gonna be exciting to watch. Um, I just feel like when other point guards come into town, like the Westbrooks and the Kyries, and I just feel like Dennis Smith has this switch in him where he's he's he gonna, does he's gonna go he's after that. He's not there to play with you. Yeah, like if you come at him, it wakes him up. Like I don't think I don't know. I don't, That's why I'm having this conversation. I was watching the uh, the Dallas Laker. Yeah, he wanted that. that he sense. wanted that action with Lonzo. 
See what I'm saying? Yeah, but his team was trash, so. Yeah. And he looked this But that's what I'm saying. It. If you put him on this Lakers squad. Yeah, put him and let me just say teams. now, Kuzma, to me, we have the seal of the draft. The I'm, Lakers. I'm very upset. That kid, to me, should have been <laughs> a top 10 pick. Yeah. Like, he is the steal of the draft. I'm calling it now. He's going to be a great player. I great, agree. Great player. He came into the NBA in the perfect time for Biggs. Perfect time. He's going to be great. I still got big. the Warriors winning. He's a big? I mean, he's a four. Three, four. He's definitely a three or four, for sure. He can play four. He that can play the four. Look, nigga look like a good two guard to me. That's what I'm saying. He can dribble it. He can step out, shoot it. That nigga shot the lights out of Dallas last night. Well, shit, Biggs can shoot now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Perfect time. No, he did a lot more than that. He was moving. I was Biggs can move. Uh, I was trying to. It's a different league. Had me squinting this. Read the last name on this. You know, when nigga doing that. Like, yeah. man. Who 11? Run the floor. <laughs> run the floor like a deer. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. Yep. Quiet as kept. I like the Knicks second round pick, too, though. Dodson. Yeah. I like that well, kid. Yeah, yeah. I like that kid. Yeah. Um, sleepers. Uh yeah. Be fine. You got one, Rory? Yeah, give me a second though. Shit, you got a sleeper? I got one. I'll play mine now. Um I got one, but my shit fire. So fuck you. You wanna go last? <laughs> or I could go first and then I'm gonna play a second song off the project last. Here we go with all this. I can go first. Uh we don't really have rules. <laughs> No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Fucking, uh, so listen, so I'll go first because uh, mine comes with like a story. So, her. We love her. I love her. So, I saw her live uh, right before we went to the Rockefeller thing in Highline. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was like one of those like intimate, uh, like perform for executive, which is always kind of uncomfortable. It has a real like yeah. dance for me boy uh, feel. Yeah, always. Yeah. I've never ne- fails. I've, I've never like enjoyed those. Mm hmm. But I went because I wanted to catch up with an old coworker, and it was not that. She had her band there. She was performing in a shadow in, like, a small room. Like, she takes her craft extremely seriously for everything she does, and she sounds amazing live, too. Mm. Like, she sounds just like the records. There's not much enhancing going on there. She could play instruments. Like, this girl— I mean, No, we, she's for real. Yeah. I'm, I'm late to the, um, to the party. I was late to finding out that that was Gabby Wilson. And if everyone remembers Gabby Wilson, they was mm-hmm. comparing her to Prince mm-hmm. when she was 14. Like, mm-hmm. that girl is very, she's not one of, you know, not to downplay this new kind of sound of music, but she's not one of them. Mm-hmm. Like, she's not following a sound. That girl is going to be all right for a while. We love her on this podcast. Yeah. I bumped into some people that work with her when uh, I was out in LA. But outside of that, her part one was phenomenal. It was great. Mm-hmm. We loved it. I love her part too, too. It's great because mm-hmm. we love her and that's how it sounds. Now, here's my hot take. This is this is my bold hot take if you're familiar with her and how much I love her. This him too shit is better than her too. Yeah. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah, the him too. Uh, that's good. No, Who is that though? I have zero idea. Is he is he going the same route she did? Like he's not like twenty two savage. He's, he's going like, the same route that she is though. Like they, we don't know who we he don't is. know. Yeah, okay, got you. He keeps putting <clears throat> out the same cover yeah. as her, mm-hmm. and just with him in mm-hmm. blue, mm-hmm. and all of the titles are responding to her. <laughs> Dope. This to me sounds like what all the guys I like should probably be sounding like right now. Like, I'm going to play this record called Habits. Are you suggesting they're in cahoots? No, I'm saying they're not sounding like that. Any way to use that word? Cahoots? It's funny. You look like a cahoots, nigga. I'm joined forces and you're cahoots. Uh, Fucking, uh, like, Division. I can hear Division making a record like this, but. It might be Division. Not division. <laughs> it might be division. <laughs> Shit. But this whole project is hard. I've been playing ever since it came out. Actually, hold up. Let me say this before it plays because if you just type in him, H I M, some wild white boys is going to pop up and y'all going to think I'm crazy. So <laughs> just like her is spelled with the dots, it's H dot I dot M. Uh, and volume two is what this is on. Uh, and this is called Habits. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. 
And I really could have played at least five of these shits. This whole shit is hard. Somebody this song and said it was division. I think you can get him to believe it. Is what I'm That was him, H dot I dot M dot volume two. Uh, and that song is called Habits. Really, really amazing project. Uh, make sure you check it out. Really the whole thing. Yeah, that's no, great tape. All right. My pick is uh, Georgia Smith, Teenage Fantasy. No, it's not an R. Kelly song. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was playing this shit, you're perfect. 
I forgot this was my shit though. <laughs> It's not that old. I've got a lot of I'm talking about you let me hear <laughs> What if I had been a fool and thought I was in love with you? I need to grow and find myself before I let somebody love me. Cause at the moment I don't know me. I love that song. Yeah, she's great. All right, Maul. You see the vibe, Ron? No, I'm going to stay to the R&B vibe since that's what y'all want. Finally, on. Jesus. This nigga always want to play I, some. I think his rap picks are a good balance. They're all, no, they're, they're great. They're great. They just throw me for a loop <laughs> when me and you play some barefoot shit. And then, and then he comes on with fucking Get At Me people. Dog 2017. <laughs> Got to keep it balanced. This is uh, this is Yeah Ali and uh, Eric Bellinger. This is off his uh, Yeah Ali's new project. Uh, Yo, how come you have all the new Yeah Ali shit? And I feel like the, no, project, the project I just out. got was the new project. Yeah, this is out. This is called it's a good um, project. I fuck with Yeah Ali. Oh, I thought it was another one. No, it's just, no, no, no. It's one the one that's out now. It's called Big Body Benz with Eric Bellinger. This is like his third or fourth Yeah Ali sleeper though. Jummy. Crazy, crazy. If you say no to me, just know that no, ain't no telling what's gonna come with that. Tattoo my name deep inside your heart. I wish you was around when I'm gone. Yeah, when I'm out in my city, spending cash like I'm giddy. Don't call me later on. When my sound is a shit, and they know all my shit, I'ma pull up, pull up like screw. Like screw. Big body beats pulling up at the valley. Baby, you know I'm a kissing. I've been on you for a long time. You know I ain't trying to kick it. We should really think about it. Getting hot and temper's rising. I'm the shit, you the shit too. You got a nigga on Twitter, but when I see you, it's I miss you. Like screaming. Big body beats pulling up at the valley. Ali, Big Body Benz featuring Eric Bellinger. That's good. I like him a lot. I fuck with him. Um, oh, are you playing another one? No. Okay. Uh, I want to say happy birthday to Whitney Houston and rest in peace to Sean Price. Mm-hmm. Today is a day two years or three years now that Sean Price passed away. It's been two already? Yeah. Time flies. Damn. Has it been two? 
Yeah. Definitely wasn't last summer. Yeah. Yeah, it was two summers ago. Rest in peace to uh to them both. They better leave Usher alone, man. <laughs> That, yeah, I don't know. That shit is crazy. I don't know. That shit is pretty funny. Oh, today is the <laughs> eight year anniversary with your uh, your run in with Raekwon. Uh, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. Yeah. Eight years? Yeah. Oh, nine. Nigga, I'm old. <laughs> oh, nine. I, I've been here. I don't think I've I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> we know, yo. We know you've been I here. I spoke to that nigga since. Really? He put out a really good album this year. Shit, and a, and a few years back. <laughs> <laughs> what that mean? Break on, stay with uh, me. Could I could I ride and enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tell me how you would feel. <laughs> I'm sure he did a Vlad interview since then. He did. I was just joking, but <laughs> <laughs> no, he did I'm right. sure it's happened. Since that's the eight years long time. I just want to say shout out to Rihanna. I don't know why. I just want to say shout out to. We Rihanna. ain't even talk about Rihanna being thick. Mm, 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 mm. Is Rihanna she pregnant? pregnant? No. No, I don't think she's pregnant. Still, that doesn't look like pregnant weight. That looks like... That looks like dirty I'm poultry date, weight. I'm dating this billionaire and... and... Fuck you, nigga. Y'all ain't getting another sex with me is amazing for a <laughs> long time. Y'all better cherish that Rihanna album. Cherish I feel like we're forgetting is. something really important, even though Chris keep looking at the time. <laughs> Chris, look at the time when we start recording. <laughs> All right, Chris, we out, man. Forget it, man. Should we uh, end with Sean Price tearing you up on Hot 97? That's a good thing to go out to. He did tear me up too. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, he tore yeah, he tore, tore Joe up. I, I mean, that, but it's okay. I mean, it's Sean Price that's being respectful. <laughs> yeah, that's Sean Price. That's Sean Price and a very young, unprepared Joe with some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, funny. that's a good way to end. Fuck it. Since you niggas want to end with jokes, it's the nine year anniversary. Yeah. It's that time. It's that time you got to kill. Yeah, was hey, yeah. hey, want to want to end with when these niggas killed you? That thing. Oh, oh boy, with Joe, oh boy, and man. Him getting snuffed and torn up on radio. Yeah, no, y'all. you added that. I was just saying it was funny because no, it was I, like we saw my anniversaries I, and all I, this. I keep no, we weren't talking about anniversaries. Yeah, he said when you see Look, Whitney, you keep Whitney's birthday. What he on said. I don't care. Yeah. So I thought it was going this yeah, way. So I, know. I said, okay, I know, Joe, eight year anniversary. I know. Ray Kwan incident. I know. I'm and I just thought gonna, you was going to hit him with something. Like, I hit him with something. <laughs> what you hit him with? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's on That's next week. Yeah. <laughs> Have your little yeah, jokes. Without, next without, week without. is on. Yeah. I'm in here, ready? Hey, yo. Listen, overall, I'm not with the swine dining and glock and divine lining. Watch what you say, you pop your spine rhyming. Go toe to toe and get popped and get by dying. Then I go cop. Yeah, you want to go in this one. Come on, come on. How you come on? It's not over. I think I was too young to even know what was happening. Sean P. should have just went to the bathroom. Let me tell you something. Yeah, but I'm arrogant. I'm cocky. He a legend. Listen, move it, old nigga. Right. That's how I was. Listen, Listen overall, yeah. Overall, I'm not with the swan dining and glock and divine lining. Watch the show, get popped, get spine rhyming. Go toe to toe and get popped and get by dying. Then I go cop and watch the top of with fine diamonds. Put my on top of your dime grinded. No, not the box, but rock and die trying. Go to the spot, but the cops be like iron. Oh, I'm, I'm not listening to this now. That's way worse as an adult. I'm talking about the coke I got. Hell, man, the coke that I got. The folks I shot. I don't give a what if you're blood. Your local lot mess with me, you had to have an open top. I go to the Vatican with the most potent rocks. Moan Colombian sh- off the boat and blocks. Tell my man Buckshot, come and tote the Glock while I give out samples. Hope the Pope a cop. Yo, wop, bob, a loop, bob, the wop, bam, boom. Cops got a few glocks and pop down the dude. That's when I knew, right there. <laughs> right there. I heard that. Was there. Oh, the metal lock in his own. I ain't trying to be the king. Give me part of the Split the chips between Sean Price. There's a difference when men are rapping. Oh, you dub mass cats, no, he sounds like a man rap. Call your crib, you ain't sh- duke and fart on the phone. Send my man to jail some money for a cart in the bones. Uh-huh. Next time, hit off the sea because he's starving at home. Pardon me, hoes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, 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 go. Who next? Who next? Who next? Rotation. Here comes Clumsy Joe. Look, next. Next, huh? Jersey, yo. Look, look, Jersey. 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 Yeah. 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 Looking for some support. Jersey City in the house. Tri State area. LA, New York. Connecticut. Nigga just started Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah.
Hold up, talk to these niggas, Joe. Hold up. Hold up. Come on, man. Look, I just been sitting back watching from afar Thinking of myself, dude, just following the broad dude Just, whoa, like I can't find your way about oh, yeah, Take off, follow, so. laid out, ready to make you a gym star model Over the folds and so he knows that by the way you're a killer or never win See why I retired? <laughs> Only copycats like you, they sit and they think he's probably that hype Or two, I speed down a copycat sniper